Hello everybody, welcome to stream time, we're streaming, back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PS5, there's an ad currently running on my screen about Simon and Joe using eToro, and I mean, come on, cool. Right, here we are, um, that ad's out of the way now, it was running on my end. I find it weird that YouTube will run ads on your own videos even though it's clear that your account is signed in, like, I find that a bit curious, how does that, how does that work? Um, but here we are, ready to go, ready to get gaming, ready to get cracking, ready to show these gamers that I am the best, I mean, come on, it's me, everyone. So, shall we begin? Shall we begin with some Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Uh, yesterday, if you missed it, I put up a video announcing the schedule for our, um, our, basically our effort to kick cancer in the backside. Um, we've got that now down, so... You know, that's cool. I find it, yep. I find it interesting it didn't get too many views, but that's absolutely fine, really. I'm not too fussed. Uh, what quest are we up to? Far, first night, oh yeah, that one. Right, so we could go around hunting order members, but this guy is in Hamptonshire, and that's our, that's our next lead. The Rake, Warden of Faith. The Rake wears black. The Rake is a woman. The Rake works in the ruins of a church. Okay. And there's the Reeb of Derby, which can be found in Yorkshire. I suppose we could actually go and hunt him. Somehow, because... I mean, he's up these ends, but we can just go from Yorvik in and kill him and then dip. Because we're, the, we're the right power level to do so. Might as, well, might as well chef him up while we have the time. Fishy, how are you today? I'm okay, thanks. How you doing? Um... When do you think that we'll get legacy outfits? I don't know. It's uh, similar to Odyssey in the sense that the game doesn't really... that How the gear system works. It doesn't really suit armor sets. Which I don't think should excuse... Well, I mean, legacy outfits. I don't think it should excuse um, the lack thereof. To be honest, they're quite fun. But I'll be honest, it's never something that I've paid too much attention to as something I particularly cared about. I've always found it a little bit... Honestly, um, a, a little bit ridiculous um, in some aspect running around, say, Origins donning Edward's robes. That being said, didn't they introduce, like, Ezio's robes to Odyssey or something? And so they could do it. They, 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 they probably will at some point and then charge you for it. I mean, I need to, I need to, I need to have some faith in humanity, but I, I don't know. When it comes to corporate decisions, good video is about the cancer doing a good thing. Yeah, we're doing our best to, but we're all doing it as a community, you know? Like, all of us. We're all gonna... Everyone who shows up to those streams, we're gonna have a blast together, raising some money to, uh... To show cancer who's boss. And I can't, and I honestly... I honestly can't wait. It's gonna be great. James will be kicking off on the 4th with some Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. And that's gonna slap hard, isn't it? That's gonna absolutely do bits, and it'll be amazing. And I reckon we can smash that goal. We've already raised £1,260 last I checked out of the 15,000 target and that's without actually doing anything besides from promoting. Um, once we get started a lot of people will be saving their donations for then and that's that's exciting because we'll be able to see just just you know just how much of a difference we can make. Um, ooh, it's lovely up here. I'm, I'm just going into Yorvikshire to hunt down a dickhead. I know it seems a bit weird that we're doing this but I am. The model of Altea's robes can be found in the files. They'll fit. They fit. Okay, so maybe they'll do it. Maybe I'll. Maybe they will. Maybe they. Maybe they're waiting for the time to drop it on us or something. The horse is doing. Deciding to be shit. Come on, we've got 500 meters to cover. Why are you being so slow? Jesus, it's like Windows XP. The horse. Now it really is Windows XP. The horse. Do you reckon Windows XP would run, would, would, would run with a solid state drive, or do you reckon it wouldn't know how to handle it? Do you reckon it would be like, no, why is everything so fast? It would cry. It would be sad. What year is Valhalla set again? 870-something? So, 9th century CE, or AD. And we're in these ends, at a place I like to call... Is that a flight? I mean, I'll kill the, the Ancients member. 
first. Then we can flight. Also, my window's open, so if you hear any, like, motorcycles or cars zooming down this road at stupid speeds, I do live on a, uh, on a, on a 30, as opposed to, like, a nice little 20, so cars just zoom past at 50, because, obviously, speed limits are completely useless to people. Done. Rest easy, Reeve. The time has come. The yes. time has come. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. To Helheim Aye. with him. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. That's a very respectful way to die. To be honest, you'd expect... I'll be real here. You would expect a little bit more, uh... A little, well, how do I put this? A bit more of a confession room from these big dudes? These mad, these magisters? Um, I don't know. I don't know what rank they are. I presume they're like magisters, right? And these are like order members, magisters. Then you've got the father. We've got four of six clues. But, oh yeah, we need to, so what we need to do is this, these, this will be the fifth of the six clues. And then we'll need to kill all of these dickheads. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Oh, or maybe we'll be able to find the fifth clue or something. Right, there's a flight over here. We're gonna do, and then we're gonna head back down into the ends we actually want to go to. Ah, look at you, big and tall. What's your name? Avor's actually very short. Avor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan, come here, come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen, here these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, sh I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. Okay, medium back. I'll buy you around with my winnings. How is that? Ha! I like this one. Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. Okay. For luck. Don't know why I'm flighting here, but I am. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to the to mind the arse end of a horse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yes, have another drink. Yes, yes, here's the next one. You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a dame. Well, you're a thick scald and loathsome, and lacking a brain. You're brilliant. You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another. <laughs> no, this can't be good. I'm a champion, a winner. I'll claim the top prize. <laughs> you can call the truth before one of us dies. <laughs> what the fuck is the head doing? That was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. <laughs> you are a wonder. I would say the same of you, friend. <laughs> Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England. <laughs> no, I'm drunk. Well, that's cool. Right. Now we have to go to Gloucestershire. Now, as you can see, I've got to hunt these down eventually. But I have to go into Hamptonshire to do so. But I get the vibe. Now, I get the vibe that last one will show up in the plot somehow. Right, let's head down to Gloucester and actually, actually do what we've come to do.
Now, this is one of the arcs that I'd say that I really, really like for a couple of reasons. Um, I think one of them being because, um, though the plot does have a lot to do with, um, you know, Assassin's Creed, it's always good when an arc takes you out of that and takes you into something a bit more, I don't know, I guess, local culture oriented. Now, where's the... Let's go. Love when my like my door randomly decides to open because the wind likes to drag it out. Ah, oh, there you are. It's good when there's an Assassin's Creed focus in the story and. There's at least one arc that isn't necessarily designed to be so. Like, a lot of these aren't really, but this one does it the best, I think, for a couple of reasons. One, because it makes it equally feel important. Not necessarily on the same level, if you get me, but within itself. I'm looking for a gamer. He came here in search of a wife, and he's found six. Fortunate man. All right, here we are. Eivor, thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you've been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendine da, but my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you meet? How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal, but she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried even gilder than Anun. Conan helped Drews me. I like he can just make out words. The last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for But never sentences. I should like to meet this elderman of yours. If our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch. You two bags of air seek a gumpas killer. <laughs> right, no daylight to waste then, huh? I just love that you can make out so words but never the sentences. <laughs> Why have you taken my horse, you cock? Oh my god, the man just nicked my horse! Sir! Come <laughs> on, you've nicked my horse, man! <laughs> Gonna nick my horse. And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Viking. They come from all over to celebrate Sawin. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Sawin? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Ah. Sawin. Cool. Good times. Cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. This man is really sad. He's looking at the floor and just waddling along with a child in tow. That is so peculiar, but okay. Here we are. Thanks for nicking my horse, man. See, that is my horse. There is the elder man. Kunan! Good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevder. Tevder, lovely man. We're gonna have words about that hairline, hands though. as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. 
and he'll be Elderman after Kuna. Tevdor, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunner speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? What's your problem? Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? I'm just gonna say nothing. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. <laughs> remove the turnip from your arse. That's so that's very West Country. The family before it's weird. you whisk my Bridget away to her it's life no as a Smithy's bride. We're honoured to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Oh, you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. It's just Blackbeard, isn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> well, shall we then? Yes, Tevder, I guess we shall. That, that is a hay thing on fire. I love how there's always something on fire in this game. <laughs> always something ablaze, whether it be in a cutscene or gameplay. Sour. Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Sorry, I shut my door again because it likes to open itself. Of wood and, clay. and yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenom your guard? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunin for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. 
Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That <laughs> sounds like a tale I'd like to live my years <laughs> Please, Avon, I must pray. Sorry, that's a funny so line and could be misinterpreted in so many ways. Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. No, a pig. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Where did you come from? Combat pigs. Let me just go and loot the pig and then I'll speak to Tevda. Where did I kill the pig again? Oh, there he is. My guy said he's dirty, his knees doing worse than praying, and uh, that. That's fascinating, I guess. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely, the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee not for anymore, your protection. Dead. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant God. Go on without me. I gave Kunan. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Okay. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. <laughs> what a lovely man. There's some lovely ends around here, aren't there? Some truly nice places to, well, to look at. Let's go for a swim, horse. Well, be a swim for me, a mere stroll for you. <laughs> well, here we are. Right, dickheads, it me. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Grivo. To be fair, I but heard what she said high. there. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cock Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan vela spread you on creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Again, I heard that. The gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise, just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. Basically, you have your cloak we're now the we we're now we're now I'll keep the Mary Louvre, <laughs> which means we have to go to people's no doors and sing at them. This. And then raid their pantries and drink all their beer. 
Trick or treat. What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sowing night and the moon is high. Mary Lewid haunts my door. The air is chilling, and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. Never thought I'd be trick-or-treating in Assassin's Creed. It's been a long time. There's a key over there. Oh, I can just kill people. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Good. <laughs> the door opened through him. Waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. The door opened through the man. That's <laughs> getting into their cops. I have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. To its dwelling, face foretelling, it's the Mary Louis. Well done. I just love how the door just flings it's open. Cakes. Why have I been given moldy cheese? Gunna. You should see this. Gunna. I just love that the doors My just cakes. randomly fling open and the people just stood there waiting. Look soon, Find there? Gunner's whereabouts. Cool. Well, is there a key in there? Gunner! There's Gunner. There's a key here. Why is there a key here? Hang on. That Whatever that is can wait, because I found a key to some random man's gaff. I'm going to break in. What's in here that can make this so interesting? Note, one of the little folk asks me to make the door smaller as he wants to keep unruly house guests from his house. After the nonsense with the druid last fall, I see his point. I love how I've just raided a man's gaff and took everything. All his iron and leather. His most prized possessions. Can I, can I kill this clown? You are either fearless or stupid boy. To speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and Tor. <laughs> to hell with you! <laughs> Just me and Gunnar fighting you thick look, skull. We should be burning alive. Oh my god, he just elbow dropped me. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowages? They know how to have fun. He's just about to elbow drop. Oh my god, he, he, he just slammed Gunnar and then elbow dropped me. But I stayed standing because I'm cool. Let Gunnar just scrap him. Ow. This man, this man's... Ow. I, I do dodge in time, but it doesn't work. Four spears! My leg! Gunnar! Beunivalis McCallon! Come on, lad. Okay, I need to parry him somehow. Answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. 
Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes Elderman. The Dean of Fall. Regardless of Poise of Poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those <laughs> who follow the old ways. Now he's just got the skull shock. on his head. But I offer my healing services on both sides of And it's the sort world. of just like molded to his face. Gwenid, my love. Go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. Eivor has a Cross. skull now fused to his face. I give me strength. My mom Modren is known I'm a humor towish good run. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Eivor. Make Mary and try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modren. You don't have the hair's clipping sleep. through his new skull. Fine, but no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. <sighs> I've got a... How? How have I done this? That's actually really disturbing. It, it, with, with the hood down, this, there it is. It's gone now. There you go. The skull has disappeared, finally. With the hood up, it makes sense to have it, but it shouldn't be fused to his head. So when the hood's down, it shouldn't show his hair clipping through the top of it. I love pushing people over in this game. Just going goodbye, I'm running on these ends, you must disappear. It's rather magnificent. With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. I thought the church condemned this celebration. I hate the church. Name's Gwarim, and I turned to God just three years back. What were you before? You look like a man with a past. What were you before you took up the cloth? Me? I, a, a grain farmer. Had to take up the sword a few times to protect my crops. I like how he, he, he just like, sort of stammered and went, a grain farmer, of course. What brought you to God? You know you need to change after the third night you wake up richless in pig shat, with no idea how you got there. Do you like Gloucester? Ah, tis a beauteous place. Shame they're losing their elderman. Enjoy the festival, Gullum. Ah, perhaps a drink later. Gaming. Tevda. Eivor, there you are. Tevda. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One oh. for me as well. Gwilym, the warrior monk. Now we can match wills with a flagon in hand. <laughs> ale is known to blunt even the sharpest of plates, Eivor. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Alcohol time. Now we have the drinking contest. Little cups. So slow. Oh god, it, it froze on me for a second there. Eh? 
You're going to start. Drink! Too strong for you. My guy's not even savoring his ale, he's just sort of drinking. Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? Did it. Feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with you. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. What a waste. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. Yes, a you can pillage Yorkshire. To Elderman Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Kevder. May he wear the horns head high. Yeah, that's very clearly Blackbeard's voice, but that's fine. Weak. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. I'm scrying. Avos, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath, the treaty, the greatest. Fascinating. <laughs> Shh. People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship. This way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Oh god, there's drunk photo mode. Hell yes. Drunk photo mode is the best. Nothing can ever beat drunk photo mode. Oh. <laughs> 
blaming pig. Chases you home at night. <coughs> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Proves I have belief. Hang on, this is a good this is a good drunken photo mode shot. You need to keep it needs to be off angle a little bit, that way you can really you can really get the uh, the feeling of uh, of being absolutely wankered as these gents surely are. See that the boys are binned. Probably a better shot there, a bit closer in. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great worlds of <laughs> color and light. Whoosh! Here we are, right inside here. They call him Eivor the Bind Kissed. Shafter! Shafter! Where are you? Being chased by the chickens is a good way to go. <laughs> it's a very dangerous fall. <laughs> Whose bed is this? It's Tevda's. Oh no, what has happened? Hell's breath. What happened last night? We made God cry. Uh, and the effects of that draft still cling. After, are you here? Tefter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. Ah, I've got two. I've got, I've got four skill points. Why did nobody tell me? Oh, probably because. Well, <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, I like noticing things. There we go. We're now power rating 261. Almost to power rating two million. Right, let's go. Blood could be Tefters if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Cool. I love we're doing this hungover. This muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Open this door. Come out of there. Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. This part has been broken. It's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Willem's pouch of herbs. 
I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe. There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevdor's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevdor gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get oh no! Out! We've just been done dirty by the man. Hang on. Let's go. He seems to think we're guilty for the big deed. Well, now I certainly have soaked the blood, well, their soil with blood, haven't I? Because I've just killed two guards. Finally, speak to Modron. Oh god, I'm being chased. Oh god, no, that's not good. He's right there. No blood was spilled. The man's simply dead. Divine Modron or Modron, or however you want to say that. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. Hands tacky with old blood from the new king. It would be best to lie low. Oh! Hello, little one. The croaking toad hopped down the road, followed by an owl. Through foxes' dens and murky fens, the frightful spirits howl. Yeah, because that's that's our priority right now. Need your eyes, my friend. <laughs> Mother Modron, where might you be? Good evening. Instead of night, you lie unaware. A terrible sight comes up from her lair. A wicked sprite has come to scare. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you did cause a fright. Take a sweet reward. Great. I love, I love when we have a priority straight. Show me. Been framed for murder. We're just going around trick or treating. There's murder up ahead. Hello. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, a business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Near the crossing of... Uh, is in eastern part of Gloucester. Near the crossing of the Cheerwell and the Great House Rivers. 
Well, that's the only lake here, isn't it? So, I'm gonna use my logic. I am the spirit man. I love that. I love that we came here because of some merry reason, and now it's kicking off. This is just a classic. It's kicking off. Don't mind me, just mooching through your ends. Because that's what we do. What's going on up there? Hello, sir. Oh, starlight! My starlight! A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I will deliver your feelings. I am sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you! Oh, thank you, stranger! I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. Cool. The sweetness of love. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue. But the danger of being stung. It's like love. Always a chance of losing. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue. But the danger of being stung. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue. The danger of being stung. It's like love. Always a chance of losing. Do you think Eivor had to say that three times? Or was he trying to like summon some... I don't know. I'm trying to summon somebody. Who's this? Bran's journal page. Bran left three nights ago. Fooled the fair none to be trifled with. No matter what... No matter the worth of the cursed mask, Ken Elm. Cast your watchful eye over my fool of a brother. Keep him safe in your woods. I've got some leather and some iron ore. And imagine there's a beekeeper around here. And that's who that guy wants to desperately fuck. I suppose if there is, we'll find them eventually. But for now, we've got our own mission. And we cannot... And we cannot waver from it. Yeah, all six codex pages are worth picking up. Uh, I've got five at the moment. I'll be... I'll... I'll probably... I'll get the fifth when we're near it. Like, I know where it is, so I'll go get it when we're near it. It's time. Oh, we could be here a while. Go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. When you've never been so high. Your father brought me here long ago, and we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. 
Lise? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. It's gotta be as high as the thing. High and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind. Oh, so that, that is not a gamer attitude. You win by playing. And nature's beauty soothe you. It's very clear that Roster is not a gamer. I love when a child says that they've never been so high. This could be a pain, somehow. I need something that's clearly very easy to... Yeah, that one. That's not going to support anything on top of it. Shows that you can stack them, you just have to be very... Oh shit. No! No! Uh, you know, you know... Does anyone remember being a kid? Building the fucking snowman or some shit? And then out of nowhere, some, some, some idiot of a child waltzes up and then just shits on your snowman well they just waltzes up and then and destroys your snowman right in front of your very eyes and you look at that kid and you go i will get revenge for this transgression is that that, that that's this stone except the gravity is what i must have vet, i get get my vengeance on you know what i give the fuck up uh, hang on let's reset all have an idea there's someone here who knows exactly how to do this and has defied physics if only the game could like break and physics could be defied that would be that would be so nice top five times assassin's creed defied physics it's not like it doesn't defy physics anyway but you know it is This one will take at least half an hour, Fishy. Well, peak. Maybe it'll take half a year. It'll get to a point where I'll realise that doing this is not worth it. That is when I'll stop. Taken to lockdown ends. Right, I've had enough. In a bit. We've got other priorities. I do not need to suffer stacking stones. The loot box of Gloucester. Everyone likes the lube rocks of Gloucester. What's that? Probably like a Roman artifact thing. So we can pass them to um, the man who has a very real lover back in the settlement. Hmm. I'm scrunning again.
Sunan, guide me. Trying to look for an explosive barrel thing. In fact, hang on, in abilities. What do I have in here? Don't have the explosive arrow, do I? You say the pots are behind me, but I don't know what you mean. Oh, there they are. Hmm. Wouldn't be Assassin's Creed if we weren't on fire. Well, it wouldn't be Assassin's Creed Valhalla if we weren't on fire. Redder just exists. He is just there. Redder has many centuries of gaming. I think, I think, now my theory is, and now this is my theory with Redder, it, it sort of loses water, well, it sort of loses, like, yeah, it definitely lose the, loses the water it holds with Odyssey, as, oh, but then again, everything does, everything in Assassin's Creed Lord does, so, here's my theory, Redder is a virus in the Animus. And then, but then again, they keep, I mean, they assign some importance to it, Redo, with regards to something here. Be, be my eyes. I heard a big beeping out there, which means somebody's not very happy. And that's, and that's a, that's, that's a man with a tiny knob on a motorcycle. There's a lot of keys about, isn't there? A virus, what, like COVID? No, like a software bug. Or like a, not, or a, uh, or a proper, like, you know, like, virus within Layla's Animus. Hashtag Layla is a vi not Layla, Redder is a virus. <laughs> Hashtag like a virus. Layla's a virus too, but for other reasons. What? Why did I think Abel was wearing a Plague Doctor mask? He's wearing a skull. And it's to disguise himself in this particular area for, for the purpose of... He's now a wanted man. And to begin with, it was because... Um, it, was, it was out trick-or-treating. I can't believe I'm saying this. That's what he was doing. Trick-or-treating around the ends. I just ran through that and didn't give a fuck. Third tomb door key. Now where's the tomb? I mean, is that back where I was? Was one of those going to open the key? Or one of those going to open the open the chest? Sorry. Or all three going to open the chest? Is there a door down here? Ah, oh, they unlocked the jet. There, they're the Morrigan's guard. Now, what was the point in having three keys? It's a cool lens, to be honest, but now it goes. What axes are you using? The big boy axe and the little boy axe. Uh, should inventory. I'm using. House Carl's axe and Varin's axe. I'll be honest. I should probably equip that axe. 
And then here we're gonna we're gonna equip a a superior dagger. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change it up a bit. I can't deal with that actually. I have to have a faster weapon than that. What about what about another dot? Hang on. House Carl's axe is well, I mean now what What I'm trying to say is I just need a weapon that's a little bit more a little, a little bit quicker, so House Carl's axe it is. And then the dagger in the other end. It'll be a, be a magnificent combo. This isn't historically accurate. Has Assassin's Creed ever been historically accurate, realistically? Hello. This man is a Norse warrior, and his body deserves respect. Where is his axe? He cannot go to Valhalla without it. Hurry, ran off with it. Don't hurt us. We didn't mean anything. Please. I will not harm you. I just want to get this man's axe returned. Where is this boy gone? Over that way. He was fleeing with it. Slaying monsters. Hmm. Where's that way? It said hurry that way. But did she even point in any direction? Well, no, that way. That could be any which way when you don't tell us what way that is. Press your wings, Sunan. Gonna find out what that way means. Children. Return with axe. I have many axe. Oh my god, I feel like this this sums up the um I don't know what it sums up, but it sums up a little bit of a flaw with this sort of st with more more so with the um with that dialogue, that sort of dialogue, doesn't tell us what direction that way means. Might as well say that way, can't you see me pointing? Any recommendations on the store armors? Uh, just, uh, I, I wouldn't, to be honest. I wouldn't, I, I don't think I could. But that's just me. If you want to buy from the, uh, from the store, go right ahead. How high up can can Sunin get? That is rather high up. I must say, I'm rather. I have never been so high. That's better. So we want a nice shot of Sunin. A little bit of depth of field to make it not look shit. Too much, and it will start blurring Sunin's wings.
I've never been so high as a donation thing. Can I get higher? I feel like I can. This has turned into me seeing how high up we can get. I don't think we're quite as high as that up there. In fact, I've had enough. I've had enough of doing that. I got bored really quick. Now, soon it came down really quick, didn't... Didn't she? I don't know if it's a he or a she. That way! Ah! Okay, there we go. That way is what was meant. Focus. That way! How far off is the child who's slaying monsters with a man's axe? That way now. Why is it telling me to focus in this solid direction now? It's the exact opposite way to... Ah! Child hiding. You there, boy. Give me the axe before you hurt yourself. I am no mere boy. I am hurry, slayer of monsters. You'll have to win it from me in single combat. A monster slayer. Well, as a fellow warrior, I must trade for the axe in a warrior's charm. Thick arms of Agir and thighs of Thor. Strength, honesty, and wit crave all wise warriors. I can feel this Norse magic running from my fingers to my toes. I bet I can beat you in a race back to that body. What? Though we know not your name or your clan, you are a warrior of good stock. Odin Why are you sitting on him? You to his table in Valhalla. Amen. And one day, Eivor, you're sitting on the man. Will join you, you're sitting on a man's corpse. Eternal battle. <laughs> a warrior is blessed in death by being sat on by a fellow warrior. And if that's not Assassin's Creed, I don't know what is. Must be tradition. That must be the home of the Druid. Bit of a bookie tradition, but you know how it goes. Here we are. There's a cat here. A cat that is doing nothing. Cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun. I love how this is just Christopher rain. Gist. But what form of being are you? Well, at least that's how it sounds to me. Horse and bone from the realm of the Fae. I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here. The ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew. Here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Hailwin said the Wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them up a place. Uh, a Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak. In chorus. A 
another. Let there be cacophony. One more. One more. Where's the one more? Ah. They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? <clears throat> I'll be back. Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. This dagger is placed upside down. The hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Cool. So? Speak to me, O oh wind. Sounds like he's just trying to communicate with his own fart. Bum gas. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Double spoon. Yes. Ah. Well, shit. How do I get in? There's gotta be a way in, right? There's always a way in. Speak to me, your wind. For some reason, he surfaced on his own there. That's not the place. Nope. There is no actual way. Oh, I see. I've got a sort of. I've got to sort of jump in from that tree. And then find a way out? Maybe it goes deeper. God knows. Well, one problem at a time. Maybe I'll climb on the pot and then hop out. That makes the most sense. <laughs> Speak to me, O oh wind. Sorry, I have to keep mocking the man who wants, wants the O oh wind to speak to him. I feel like the man is mental. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Celtic knot. Lovely. And here. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. Soul skills. Skulls, not skills. Well, I've got everything now. Speak to Eivor, but perhaps he must speak. Speak to me, O oh wind. <laughs> Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, 
of water and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut wards off harm. A secure nut indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodron. Kuth Lodron? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. He doesn't believe we're a spirit at all, surely. Kuth Latron. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motron awaits me at the stones near the river. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motron awaits me at the stones nearby. One Modron at the oh, stones nearby. Eyes. The, the the bit of m modern stones, I don't know. Right, let's uh... Why not? Here's near the Roland Rich. Those are the stones. Oh, it's an experienced traveller. He can fuck off. See you, old friend. I can see Modron ahead. To be fair, Modron can wait. Isn't it a bit weird how um, it doesn't seem to match up quite? There we go. Like it pauses and the cutscene still plays out. Come on. Okay. Oh, we have to take back control. Ah. Lovely. Is there anything left for me to unmiss? I don't think there is. I think we've demisted the lot. Or have we? I do think we have, but it looks like in DLCs they might add more skills. Possibly. There we go. Power, power rating 266. Modron, you big dickhead. Modron, well met. God, someone save me. A murderous Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Thefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? Yeah, why the fuck is this haunted our way? Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Thefter and myself. Kuth Ludron is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. 
You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. Really? Did the horse have to be there though? Obstructing this dialogue? This forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the guards. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuthladrin, the thieves warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. What am I focusing on? <laughs> right, two thieves ends. I guess I make the rest of my approach on foot because the horses decided to be the shit horse again. I've killed the rabbit, it is dead. Thieves Warren. There was an entrance in before that I say. took when I was hunting down the, or the Order of Ancients, dude. Let's take that approach. Do I have to wear the, the Mario Lloyd hood here? Detected because, yep. Yeah. I mean, of course I have. So much for fucking stealth, eh? Oh no, I have to choke the guy out and then shout at his corpse for some reason. I don't understand why, why, why that. It's just a bit much. So someone farted over here. Do you mind if I come over to your side of the little, the, li the little? I don't know what it is. Like a little stream that you've got going on here. That must be where Wheeling is hiding. Got you.
Bet they all enjoyed that. Nice little. Tungsten <laughs> ingot has been acquired. Die chicken. Scrun. There's something really satisfying about using archery in any game. Ah, he's in this building over here. <laughs> Hello, sirs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I would under all this. Elderman Coonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit, sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Quillem. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We are munch and strike. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. Your imbeciles. Look, we weren't going to kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. <laughs> oh, God, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together. Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lord has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> That's not something you expect someone to say. Much appreciated. Been held for ransom by worse men. Are we going to rescue you? Of course we are. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. But I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. not to draw attention here. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. 
the scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressmakes. It's time to go, but only by road. Do you watch football? If it's on, I'll have a good time. Right here. He's hopped to the touch and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why. Only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tefter to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefta. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Yeah, just leave him laying there by the fire. I'm sure everything's fine. That looked like a road to me. Sailing missions in Black Flag, if you're talking about that, were a big issue. Not that they existed, but the fact that they took up most of the game. You know, they're tailing someone by ship or on, on land. It's a whole lot of following. Right, geezers. Brush with death. Oh, that's a good skill to have, where it slows down after you dodge. Now I certainly am not worthy of walking here, for I am killing everyone. I'm out of arrows. Come on then. The standard bearer. Have that in your stomach. 
because and I mean naturally. We fight together. Ow. Yeah. There we go. That man got shanked in every single sense of the word. Oh, Christ. Where did you come from, sir? Quickly gonna stop by a shop and pick up as many arrows as I can carry. What can I tempt you with? Some arrows, please. This could come in very handy. I'm sure it can. Right, now here we are. You are wise to stock up. Leaving already? Shame. Good boy. I have to go. See you soon. will slip through them. Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Hwaled! Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor! What has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. I found Tevder. I found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Bridget, That's not a good place to be interrupted. In the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it and all and lay it got... It's you again. The Sowen Butcher. The Sowen Butcher. Never mind. Gwynedd, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... Three. Huh? Wonderful magic, Gwen. Now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. I would know more about you, Gwen. Mother says. There'll be no one like you. No, no, goodbye. I should find Kunan. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in, only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. I must find her. You don't look like a Geva.
That looks like it could be a gather. We'll have a look, see if this could be a gather. Have you seen Coonan? Hey, it's the Mary Ruid. Rhyme with me, Mary Ruid. Sorry, friend. I have other matters to attend to. You're no friendly spirit at all. Good for him. Oh, in the churchyard. Ah. Okay, let's go. After the festival, I'm looking for Kunan. Right, right. Yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck and happy sowing. Geva's waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way home. I suppose while carrying this, I'm sort of you. It's sort of a. It's a. It's a. It's sort of some aspect of social stealth. Like if you were carrying out a put a benign purpose. Right. In, an in a distrust ah, area, great. then yes, yes, come you're this not way. Could you detectable. Come Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. I stole the key from her. Enjoying the festivities. We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Mothran lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevdur's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevdur framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything. You and Mother, then Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You failed. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunan. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenive, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. 
He straddles the same line as you. Evner? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and churn in us alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Muldren will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here. Otherwise, I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, when sure. Right, epic. Terrible business. Poor lad. I came as soon as I heard. Chapter is missing. I don't need the hood up, it's annoying with the... It's annoying that it has to be the bloody... Marilouid hood all the time. Forest of Denu, or Dean, or whatever. I presume that's what it is. Big forest ends. The place to be. There's the bureau that we've been to. Here's Modron. Go. Well, in that direction by maybe a hundred meters. I must be careful now. I like this area. It's really cool. <laughs> Those bone chimes are there to protect me if I go through, aren't they? One. I love how we're just here to court. Well, I love how we save the life of one man by just killing hundreds. Tried to lie down in the cave for rest and was shooed off by some hooded creatures with skull faces. I'll not rest anywhere in this cursed place. Cool. It's good to know that this place is supposedly haunted by the big boys. I think nothing quite beats stealth archery in these... Uh yeah, stealth archery is cool. If I was any good at it. Right now I'm just lucky. So I mean... Ah, oh, fuck me. The man lobbed the barrel at me. Right. 
Well, nothing wrong with a brief fight on the way in. Great intention. The 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 the, um, the cobwebs burning up doesn't look nice at all. Can the camera not sh move around here? No, it has to sort of like whatever. I don't think we're gonna get any streaming joint here. I really like how you can just burn the uh, the gases. I think it's very useful that you can burn the gases around here. Easy now. Something is not right. Maybe I need the other bow back for a minute. Make sure every man here is dead. <laughs> Nothing good is coming from that. Here we are. The lovely ends. Yeah, I feel this. I feel the atmosphere in this. Sorry about the dog, by the way. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. 
I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! too difficult. Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I'll spare her. I'll spare the, I'll spare the other guy. I'll spare you. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? And that right there is why. What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Mm -hmm. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Utterly terrifying. Okay. The burning of the wicker man. Lovely. There we go, power rating 270. I would have let it linger on 269, but it's not quite as funny as just 69 in its own. On Tevda, what's this say? So Gloucester is to go to war with the poor harvest. Kunon must not as must ascend as the ultimate offering, and while my beloved morsel feeds on feeds the gods, the church has chosen a zealot to replace him. Tevda, who favours the flame and the cross, it is told. And to trance this evening in search of answers, I'm going to pray they can. Ooh. 
Whatever any of that meant, my poor reading skills probably made it a bit harder. Modron's journal page. I would be a liar if I claimed I only laid with Tunon because of his role in the ceremony. In our debates, I have admired him, the blade of his jaw, the bulge of his arms, and the soft hairs on his chest. I made sure to acquaint my hands with what my eyes thirsted for. Knew what he was doing, the old bastard recognised me under the mask, finished the ceremony with his name on my lips. Gods, I hope I didn't... Oh, gods, I hope I don't love him, that would be... that would complicate everything. Okay. Lovely. It's always good to see some some bits of some bits of lore in that. And I'm now going to break the lock on the door and abscond. Hello, horse. Let's. Oh, there's no road here. They will attack on sight here. Hmm, very messaging me. Yeah, everyone wants to. How are the roads when there are no cars? Well, you still had roads. Roads aren't... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. up here what does it require of me that I don't have this time bullhead what the fuck is a bullhead why did that rat run off on that rat ran off into the sky and then just vanished what the fuck did anyone else see that rat just run off into the sky and disappear <laughs> How many raids have you been on? A few, probably. It's not like they're memorable enough for me to be able to count. <laughs> now our mirror's real when our eyes aren't real. I saw the rat. I have returned. There's an atmosphere to this place. <laughs> Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be your shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent nuts but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes. Ranby will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. No, they haven't, they just walked off. <laughs> the wicker guy. first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. 
I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after 20 years' prosperity. Quint. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace. Dear heart, I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here, and a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, you will see me again. Father. I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored. ...to be your Harvest King. With this flame set... ...may our crops... ...be plentiful... ...and our winters... ...brief. Despite it all... ...he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. He was reborn as Blackbeard. There's a, a man just fell into the front. <laughs> Praise the harvest king. Bloody pagans. Why does Kunan have to go? He's saving us all now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. The tree in the way sort of makes Eivor's almost 
unhappy stance here a little bit weird. Maybe maybe this will be a good. I want the focus to be on the on the burnt wicker man. Can make it look like it's you know, a bit bit burnt. No fog. Turn the temperature down a little actually. There we go. A guy got engulfed by the earth in Lego City. Oh god. The earth just ate that man. So the old Ranvi. I love how I got a turnip out of that for some reason. The game went, here, have a turnip. Right, of course, of course a turnip. Everyone wanted one of that. It's all I've ever wanted is a turnip. I'm so glad that we got this turnip. Makes me feel elite. Better than mouldy cheese. Reporting on Gloucestershire. Okay. Can I return any of medallions to Mr. Man in here yet? Yeah. I'm grateful to see Bassam returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Oh no, I can't return all the I can't give him all the medallions because I don't have enough yet. I have to go. I have to go. Then go in peace. Right. Back to it. I don't love how I just pushed that child out of the way really aggressively. That's a car going up the road at probably like 60. Where's the Wolfga? The Wolfga. The Wolfga, where are you, the Wolfga? The Wolfga. Appears to be kicking off in here. Randy, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Olga, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what is your defense? Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. 
Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. I've heard enough. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skull? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I've known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Um, the judgment is unfair or I support Sigurd's judgment. I should probably support Sigurd's judgment here because that judgment... Because... It strikes me as a big decision. Um, Sigurd is a dick now. But he's the Jarl, isn't he? It unfair. I don't know. I think we've already defied him. I think we've already... I think in what we did already, we've already defied him. It is unfair. But you've got to understand that we've already defied Sigurd by trying to see to the trial ourselves. So you've got to be, you've 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 got to you've got to sort of side with them a bit. I don't know. You've got to be loyal. Top one. Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair. Oh no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard. The source of all right and wrong. The lord of justice in this place. Without rank. Without order. Without a chain of command. Life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sale cost value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. That's not very nice. Poor Holger. What a cuck. What a cuck you are, Pleasure Sigurd. You. Fight me now. Sigurd, 
Leave me be, if you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glauichestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Glauichestershire. There we go. Raw materials. Now I suppose we... Thank you from Chailbert. Is that ever going to fuck off that? Now, show me the alliance map. See the alliance map. Now, the question is, which of these do, you, do we do first? Yorvikshire or Winchester? I feel like we do Yorvikshire first because it's a lower power rating, which in my mean, what in my in means we should go first. Halston Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkiss personally. Halston Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. Randvi looks nothing like Cassandra. I don't understand. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Just... just challenge Sigurd to arm wrestling. Oh, wait. Ah. Travel to Anlaf's lookout in the north and that. Right, well I need to nip to the loo actually before we uh before we continue. Because we'll be going for a while, won't we? Right, okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna nip to the nip to the uh the good old the good old bathroom and sort myself out. See you in a minute. Right, I'm back. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Let's get the stream back in. There we are. Hello. Right. Okay, to the skills page. Let's use some skill points. Some dish out, some fat, lovely stun, and some... Well, I like to, I like to find the skills that are actually going to be somewhat useful. Because these only really, if you... It, it, you know, if you're using this sort of gear, really. And those are, those are good, yeah. But it's a bit harder to understand what they mean. So I'm just currently going through, just getting everything that I, I know is going to be useful to me. More immediately speaking. This is probably not a bad time to... I mean, actually, we'll do, we'll do the arc up here. And then when we've done the arc up here, we'll go back to the settlement, report to Ranvi. Then we'll go scrap that fucking wolf.
I need to know if there's any moderators about on the Discord who wants to... I hate skill trees. Uh, that one's... M the skill trees in this is madly disorganized. You have to go through loads of irrelevant skills just to get the skills that you want. It, the, con the only thing that seems to be different between, you know, what appears to be combat skills or stealth skills or whatever they are, is the color of them. The skills that you find in there, barring the big ones, you know, they're all the same the little ones. They have little bonuses here and there. And so that's that's what you have to sift through the irrelevant skills to get the um, to get the ones that you actually might need. Why is there a marker telling me to? Why is this? Why, why is there a marker back at Ravensthorpe? Very confused. That fixed it. Wonder, will there be a hog mount in this game? Oh god. I do worry. Am I still detected? By whom? That's the best way to climb- oh, by the pig. Look at the pig just slide down. Smack up them pigs, exactly. Smack the pigs. How did that affect the, uh... Yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. I should probably get that viewpoint. Just strikes me as a cool idea. Signs of battle. I'm going to battle. Hey guys, top five times we did battle. Let's get the likes up, by the way. That'd be that'd be pretty snazzy, I think. Yeah, getting some likes up would be rather rather lovely. talking about that on the podcast. What, what was Tyler talking about on his podcast? Every now and then the game will like have a moment of just dropping all frames. It's every now and then but for some reason it happens. I don't understand why it happens, it just does. The battle climbed into the hills. Be my eyes. There appear to be shrooms anywhere. Thor lends me strength.
Who's that? Me. Everyone all right? It me. Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Ah, it's well, you it's from the Yor the Yorvik Ark. Faravid, my guy. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Yorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Half Jarl, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. It's time to do battle. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Forgot what button I used to just switch them over them. What skill is that? There we go. Wow. I'm trying to get a good shot of that now. Would have been would have been perfect if not for Eivor's face. Find someone to lob off a cliff or something. Off you go, sunshine. Off we go, son. Bye bye. Oh, how do we get here? Whatever. <laughs> He's dead. Another bloke has been decapitated. Regroup with Faravid. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory!
That man made a great entrance. You owe me your life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowit's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to the big man. For a victory feast. It's half done. The boy. The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? An impressive man. Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. Let's go! I'm fine. I'm not dead. Did the frame rate die for anyone else then? Because it just did for me. At a moment of pure death. The cloak is now stuck with you. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit off. Why do I have to have... There we go, that's better. That's much better, see? Now it's fixed. We've done it, we fixed it. All you have to do is equip another cloak, otherwise you'll just have the cloak of the Mary Louis for the entire fucking game. <laughs> I can't have that. Giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Fort Big Big Cock. God knows what I'm going to call this place. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? Doncaster. It's a bit. A bit of a place, isn't it? Staircases are not for us. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I would... Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? I will attend to her soon, I promise. But half in me is here. There he is. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this. Oh no, I quite like the. It's 
stop whispering. Why not? Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Ask the king from Jorvik. Ah. Oh. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the carls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. Dogs barking again. What's going on with. <laughs> what's going on with. Before we continue, what's going on with Ferovid's neck? What's that? I, I never noticed that. Look, I'm sure. I'm sure. Didn't in the Asgard segment? Didn't Loki have something going on with his neck? <laughs> Old friend, your jest hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I like, would not several... be here without your hammer, Great Young. Like, I'm sure. I'm Please sure there's been a couple characters with neck your share like of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Yeah, Eivor? Sigurd had it. Sir. So... You're in mead instead. Wine goblets are for Roman kneelers. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Half done. I must. I must ask for an. Ex ah, it's happening. My guy half done's got it as well, by the looks of it. Unless he's just got some scraggle back there. It looks like there's something going on on his neck. Let me get awfully close before he disappears. Yeah, there's there's definitely something on his neck as well. Not here. Let us get away from envious ears. Now, the, the big question is... It's not happening to Eivor, is it? Now, Eivor has a burn there. Hmm. Or is it a wolf scar? Look. Or is that the wolf Day, scar? Try a look at throwing bones. No.
You can't. S it would make sense if Sigurd's got a mark, if Faravid's got a mark, this guy's got a mark. And those marks are shown on some of the gods in the uh, Asgard. Hmm. Wonder who else has a mark. We'll find out as we go. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. You just walked through your dog. Conquered this, he and I, together. You have earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Faller, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy. His plots. Learn the truth. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stop the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Ah, gaming. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man? Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. My power level are 270 something. I'm getting bored of the trim. Oh, 
He is hiding something. Right, okay, is there a is there a viewpoint here somewhere? Where's the nearest viewpoint? Ah. Tell you what, we can fast travel to Jorvik and head from there, but first I'm gonna head back to the settlement and change for Trim. Because it's getting tiresome to look at his Eivor's bald head. I kind of I quite like it, but you know when you just want some form of shape going on. I haven't played this yet, but does it still fit? Does it feel like still level and just meant? It's still a similar system, really. Make sure you look at my just new get designs. skill points quicker. May I see your stores? Tattoos, ooh, tattoos. A Valhalla blessing. I like that. Beard. That's the cool beard. I like this beard. go for this why not get a fat beard with that to be fair the only problem is with the big beards is they go is they get taken away by your clothing a lot especially when you're looking down and it looks really strange um, no clean shaven is not the one for me this is the one for me we've got some cool tattoos to look at I guess I could get that on both sides and it would look like total shit I could get that and that and then it looks Half decent. Is there... I think I like that one there. That's cool. Finished? There we go. I have to go. We'll see you later, friend. Until next time, Eivor. Right. Cool. Skills, and then we'll fast travel to Jorvik and go from there. Another like critical chance. Auto loot. Yeah, we'll start building towards that convenience. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah, power level 274 now. I ideally want to be verging on uh, power level 300 at some point. Hopefully today we can get there. How many hours does it take to complete this game? Uh, arguably too many. Sure, the game has a lot of substance, the story's all good in that, but does it justify the length? At times, I don't know. Um, for the most part, it does, and then there are some moments where it feels like, uh, not so much. Know what I mean? It's such a minor thing, but it is there. there there's a moment or two where you feel like, oh. Justifies its length well enough. But. There are some times where it just doesn't. It's rare, but it happens. I won't say it's rare like it happens randomly, the feeling. But it doesn't happen randomly. It's very consistent in where it is. But, yeah. I just think a couple of arcs, for example, I'm not a huge fan of the longevity. For example, Asgard and the rest of the other yeah. fantasy business. How long does that have to be, realistically? Did the PS5 version actually get downgraded in the update? Shouldn't have done. Well, I mean, I hope not. Doesn't mean I know, but I hope not. What's this? 
How do I get in there then? Huh? <laughs> Bring a bomb. It's a classic. It's a classic Assassin's Creed moment. Bring a bomb. Find us a bomb. Bring it. Now I need to find some explosives. There's usually some laying about. I get the vibe I'm gonna have to carry a bomb from far away. Is that an opal? It is. Do explosives exist in Europe? I mean, explosions. It's not really explosive, it's just. It goes kaboom. I mean, it is explosive, it's just not designed as explosive. It's a, it's a, it's a pot that explodes. really fun so far. It's a really fun game. I'm having a blast with it in a lot of ways. Um, ah, shit. Who are you? Oh, you wolves. I've already kissed the wolves. Not a big fan. Hope you're enjoying what's going on with the wolf. Maybe these wolves could be explosive. In the end of the day, it's a little Roman treasure thing that means nothing to me. Social stealth is all right, yeah. There is some uh, proper good use for it at certain times, but I don't feel like I don't feel like it's designed to be especially viable when compared to combat. You'll find yourself in combat more often than you'll find yourself using social stealth. Is what I'm trying to say. Not just social stealth, stealth in general. Is it different on PS5? I don't know, I haven't played the PS4 version. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, one Assassin's Creed Valhalla nil. Yes, because this game is designed to compete with Red Dead Redemption 2. People keep comparing the two games and I don't understand I don't understand why they're nothing alike. You ride horses at times. That's probably it. Ooh, it's one of these places. Ah fuck. I'm fine, don't worry about it. Horse. Horse had a moment. Wiccan's cave. I guess we go in here. Momentarily defying gravity by jumping off the horse. There's a viewpoint over there. Cool.
Wow. Okay. Yep, no, that ruined the flow of it. Come on, Eivor. Through the crack. You can do this, Eivor. You can go through the crack. I believe in you. Well done. Go sit in the, the naughty corner with the dunce hat for a bit, a bit, you know. And... The challenge is that. What does it even say, actually? A bounteous feast awaits, the bold, unfaltering step. Beware of fowl and beast revenge is the dish they serve. I mean, not for nothing, but they're fucking chickens. Pro proceeds to get murked by chickens. a pig. A bit of an angry pig, man. The boar. The boar cut. The pig of the boar variety. Your, your mate can stay in that cage. I don't even give a shit. Yeah, die in the cage. Go. Here we are. There's our creepy stone, mysterious crock and dish tablet. How is there a pig in there? I don't know. Ask the pig. Someone obviously came in here and gave a pig. Another way out, isn't there? It's the hole in the ice that I went through. This is where I came in. I came in from here, didn't I? I did. So that is the way. What's that? It's a titanium. Witch's curse. Cool. I am going the correct direction. Box down here. Fabric, iron ore, and leather. How much iron do we have now? Can I upgrade my rations yet? No, I'm miles away. Fuck, because I keep using it to upgrade shit. Another rations pouch is more valuable than upgrading the gear itself just right now. I think this is a video of someone throwing an oil pot at the chickens. What, to watch the chickens explode and die? I mean, I would, but I mean... Hmm. There we go, I just need to get two more skill points and then I'll have what I'll... Need that viewpoint over there is looking rather me. Sure. So can I join your Discord server? There should be a link in the description, right? Join the old Discord. Unless the description for some reason is. Yeah, there should be a link in the description to join the Discord. F find that. So 
There's a corpse down here with arrows in him. A good day to be him. Children. That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet your father sought. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? I saw no one. It might be that he went to find food. Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and your big. Sell that trinket for food, then travel to your aunt. Your father would wish that. Well, I'm just here to get the viewpoint. This world is hard, and the gods care not. Oh, snake. Treasure up here too, hang on, before we get any viewpoint. Viper eggs. Eivor really hates animals, doesn't he? It's not that Eivor hates animals, it's that animals hate Eivor, I think. That's the biggest issue. He's not a man of nature. How prominent the assassins and Templars? Uh, they exist. They're a part of the narrative in quite a heavy way. But it isn't really the main focus of Abel's story, is it? But the main focus does loop into Assassin's Creed, for sure. Who else is waiting for the DLC to come out? I reckon the DLC will be a good time for this game. It'll be a blast. two edges. This camp is near the southwestern border of Yorkshire. Well, it can't be that far away. It's further south, really. Fine. Defy physics all you want. Imagine if the horse could jump that. Wouldn't that be so cool? Show me. There. That must be fat of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. 
Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard. I am not a dog. Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Far of it. Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. My guy just got told. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Falavid. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns, and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victory is our treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Abel? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. Well. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Dorcaster. Will the animus what translate French for us or will we have to learn it? What do you think? There's no glory in They're gonna make it as accessible as Move possible, back. aren't they? The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Put it this way. Surely these characters wouldn't be these characters aren't speaking English now. But the animus translate it as such. Why would they speak English one or another? Both. Neither one of them's from these ends. And besides, it would probably be more like Saxon variant even then, which is still vastly different from modern English, really. It'll be really easy to escort Faravid if it didn't feel like he was running in circles, but here we are. I'll just kill the squirrel with my big axe. They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Well, Faravid really fucked him up. Ruining, ruining my bits is Faravid. I don't know where he's fucking going. Right, this way, I guess. Makes the most sense.
Hey, Vigil. A long time. How are you, mate? How are you doing well? I'm doing, I'm doing well, thanks, man. How about you? That was good war work, old. Well, it's not done yet, is it? Clearly. Oh, we're at the cave place we would have come to, we would have come to anyway, as it turns out. The place I was just in before. Farabid game. This cave is a passage. The picks are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Uh. I should have waited and seen if it was a part of that. Oh well, here we are. Now it has picks in it, which means that they must die. No picks in here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know how they caught fire then, but they did. <laughs> Pick controllers. Take what you can carry from Stenweg. Cool. Lovely place. This winter, with help from an unknown quarter. Stem wedge. I don't even know. Look at Abel's legs. <laughs> Look at Abel's legs. <laughs> How do you expect it to even reach that doing that? <laughs> it just looks so silly. It's just the legs randomly swing out instead of just trying to find footing. Surely the legs should be forward. Do you know to get nickel ingots? Uh, they're about, aren't they? So private. The Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Din, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway. They spotted us! Run forward! Run! Faster! Faster! Not so bad. The wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. I did that guy a bit dirty there. I shot him in the uh, in the back with a bow, and he was sad. Oh yeah, the damage number system thing. That's on the screen. Is is that on the screen? Oh yeah, that's a that's a thing, isn't it? I don't know if I should. Let's turn that off, fight damage numbers, because we don't need that really. I turned it off on PC and obviously when I switched to the PS5 and continued the playthrough there, it decided, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna go with it.
and presume that's it. Can't kill the birds. The Picts don't raid huh? often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Okay. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason. Something to gain. So much for using the element of surprise to our advantage. Play Spider-Man again. I might just, you never know. Might just as easily play more bug snacks, you never know again. Baffled that he did not. Down the yeah, no, it's baffling. Yeah, that guy didn't hit me and that baffled me, sorry. I was very confused. Eivor the wolf kissed is a furry. That'd explain too much. These guys in here don't are completely oblivious to what's kicked off outside. And I respect that. In you come, son. God, why can't I just I was gonna dub I was gonna start one up there, but to be fair, I think the game's stopping me from doing so. Save me a bit of hassle. The 
now I'm the now I'm detected again. Well, that felt painful. Stamping on people's heads. This is this is my calling. Off you go. side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? That was rather Fool, murdery. Might have talked. We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The Picts had Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced meat. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. Cigarette chair! Its speed will catch them off guard. I know, what, what's... Thank you for the great streams and for making great content. Now have some money. Cheers for the super chat, cigarette chair. I really appreciate it, man. It's really generous. Blessing. I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. 
He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I cannot hide this. I'll fight with you, Faravid. But I will not lie to Halfton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Danacastra for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at the place called the Waltz. Hogan shares the shrinks after each victory, like his cock, eh? Hafton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not keep him waiting. To the skills menu. Hehe. <laughs> Prayer to bow. Auto loot. I've got two more skills Way of the Raven and the light attack damage. Our power rating is now 279. That's cool. To the world map. Da, 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 da. Wow, he's far away. Right. I really like the, um, it's a, it's a little bit of, I don't know how to describe it, it's, um, it's just really, it's really quite nice, this, this little path littered with corpses, isn't it? There's something about all the dead people that makes it so, you know, destination cannot be reached, which is game speak for there's no road that leads directly to there, so you're best off jumping. Can you bear the Greeks and Vikings? Well, Assassin's Creed Odyssey made me not interested in the Greeks. Valhalla at least makes me somewhat interested in Vikings. To be fair, I find them quite fascinating as is, so... There. Right, gamers, it me. That reminds me, there'll, there'll be a discovery tour for this at some point, won't there? That'd be cool. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now.
The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Part of it asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Faravid asks for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, wolf kissed. Faravid is planning an attack. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts of Markness. Without you. Now there's an ambulance that or something. Twin faced, backstabbing glory eater! Well, tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind. <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. Okay. So find speak to Moira. She lives at the southern area in the southern area of Doncaster. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. <laughs> That's this way. something in this building here it will be mine That's just one of those, one of those people. One of Redder's boys. Dear sister Moira, I have done many drugs and cried. We spoke at the feast about my wife's condition, but I fear she has worsened. I fear that she may not wake again. Please, I beg you to come to wake with haste. Or Wicker. Oh, this letter that? came from Wicker. Wicker. She must have gone there. We should go to Wicker. Gonna move on. Ooh, this was one of the more interesting arts. There is the. I, I like go this one. Find Moira. Oh, really? It's fine, I lost no health. It's 
besides in the littlest of bits. It's the mooch. Oh, this appears in that, that's the thing. It's that little trail. You know what, this isn't really taking me where I thought it should, where I think it should be. Get it! Why can't I take control back of the horse? Houses in Doncaster, surely. Come on out of there, you heathen lover! What is this ruckus? Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Oh, it is Moira's house. Moira has a house here, right? Oh, this happens bad. Leave this woman alone. That door's open. Now, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. Moira, where are you going? Moira. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. You said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. So here's something funny. Now, okay, I just looked on Facebook, right, and um, a local, a police, um, one of the, a, a Facebook page for a police, um, well, the 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 police somewhere near me, um, or at least the local police force, if you will, I don't know what the word is, uh, has posted this. And now this is really funny. This is to do with um, scalpers, and it just shows that um, that they're scalping, and then there's nonsense before it. Um, it says this, when shopping on eBay, make sure you're reading the product description. In cases like this, where it's only a photo being sold, you will not get your money back. Uh, and basically it's this. Someone, instead of scalping a PS5, has gone and tried to, uh, you know, 585 quid, sold a photo of the PS5. <laughs> and because people won't read the photo part, they think they're going to get the PS5, but no, it says it's a photo, and then... Well, there you go. That's really funny. I don't know why that's really funny, but it is. Uh, that's a thing that, I mean, people are doing. It's a shame that, you know, scalpers exist, and then there's just people doing dumb shit like that. And the only reason a, um... 
The only reason a, uh, a police handle would be um, posting that on Facebook is because somebody actually did buy it. This is a steep bridge. Find and report to half done. Oh, he's over there. He's half man, half Dan. Let's go see him. Imagine paying 600 quid for a photo of a PS5. <laughs> oh god. I just wouldn't I just wouldn't give the scalpers the fucking satisfaction. Buying anything from them, my friend. Even if you find one that's reasonable, if it's overpriced, it's overpriced. The scalpers have managed to get 3,500 consoles to sell them for 1.2 grand each. Man, that's it's just disgusting. It's just see, it's just fucking absurd that people do that. They they buy more than they need and then sell it at extortionate prices because they know the stock is low. I think we should weather the Good storm with this one. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scalp. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Hey, the thing I see is my gigantic penis. Oh, be spying God. from above. Olav? Speak to us! Where are you? Guide me. Well, that doesn't look particularly okay. Well, whatever that was. It's fixed now. This does not look good for this Olav guy. He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. Look at Half Dan's dog. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. <coughs> Beanton may track his attackers. Get them, boy. Sniff them out, boy. We will paint the ground with their blood. Just trying to kill that deer. Oh well. Dog, please do dog things and don't be glitched. Real dogs don't glitch. Okay, it's fine. He's not glitching. He's just taking a minute. Hey, to... There's no need for this. There is. There's every. Who need are these for. men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure? Something? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Okay. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. 
Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Very confused as to ah, that makes sense. Hold on, we'll find a way through. Do 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 do. It's me. Another wall back there, I must lob this into it. One likely attempt to lob this into it. Ah, fuck. The statue's in the way, but I can just jump across and lob it in. With, and have it explode in my face and take that explosion and not die. Because I'm just too cool. I am going to do this now. I'm dedicated to doing it. Poisonous gases and shit. Ah. No, oh, it's half done. Help half done find a way to the room. Where is half done? Half done. Mate, there is a ladder here for the sole purpose of you to you. You can use it. You know. You see this ladder? You can utilize that. Wow. Do I have to show you how it works? Watch, you step on the ladder and then you slide on down. Give it a go. Half done. Half done. For fuck's sake, half done. Come on. <sighs> Fucking hell. No, half done. Don't go back up, you dick. You're down now. Have you decided what end of the ladder you want to be on? Well done, man. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It's a burden few could bear, yet I do, I do. 
You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh. This is Lord. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Sounds like a trap. Keys in here, isn't it? Yeah. Thought so. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... That was Olaf? Damned fool. We thought he was a thief. The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit shining my silver. You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl, for battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him. They do not deserve punishment. They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity, so I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacaster. And I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it. Killed for it. Bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. Well, he's dead now. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringo. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Oh, he is absolutely fucking mental. That much we know. But is his concern well founded just the same? We're in the end game now, is the trophy we just earned, which is cool, I guess. Where do we go? Ooh, up there. Son of your big. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. Let's go for 200 likes, that would be really cool. Love that trophy, lol. Oh yeah. 
Mad one. Here we are. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. We have to be standing on him. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfur. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. Okay, I guess. What's keeping you, friend Eivor? Waiting for spring? I'm gonna drink. We're drunk racing, aren't we? Why is he ahead of me? When I'm the... When I'll be the fastest, so it's whatever. Best not fall off your horse. See you in your way. I might right, take a shortcut. Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk. The gods. I am the fastest of the boys. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. I feel like something was fired at me then. King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his fury, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yol? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows Do we need to get ice. back on fucking horses? I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. How come I'm still distrusted here? Ever since Speed 
not that blast One more. I love Jorvik in this game. It's a nice city. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with Ale. that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Risha answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scraped by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, king. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid. But duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. The soundtrack that was playing in that cutscene was cool. Of a cure, it's got to be in some ale gaff. Probably not even inside, to be fair. Humanoid gaming. What would you say is the fastest way to level up without doing main missions? By doing um, world events. These blue ones, I think, is the fastest way. Um, 
to get to get more skill points. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Bam! In his mug. This guy's proven tricky. I appreciate the super chat, Humanoid Gaming. Did I say that? I hope I did. That worked. Is this the Gamers Against Cancer stream? No, it's not. That's a week from now. Well, mine's a bit later, but no, that begins on Friday. The event. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors. And all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. Cool. This is the place to be. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Suddenly daytime. Sick. Guzzle the grog. I don't know why I killed this man. Why did I kill this man for no reason? It's fine, shush. A couple of dead Here, blokes in it. Take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest, I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. 
Eivor, Epic. a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenway. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself, and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Why is this shield just not attached to his back at all? It just floats. Part of it should be waiting in Stenway. It's just floating about. We've got two skill points, which we can invest in anything, I guess. It's this. Hunter bow combo, that's more like it. That connects to the Danax, does it? Who are you? Take me off! I will show you feats of strength to rival Thor. This guy is terrifying. Should you change your mind? I will be here. Look at how ridiculous that is. Look at how absurd. Some that's some legit mad armor. It's like a rich ass yarl, exactly. Looks like a rich bar looks like a rich bastard. It just does. Yeah. Meet fan of it in Stenwigger. We've got to be coming up on the end of this arc now. <sighs> Should be a... That should be nice, wouldn't it? Because I've got a wolf to scrap. What's he doing here? Just a random picked. <laughs> I guess he's part of the loot, just stands there, does nothing. Hey, Good to see you. Let me just climb. It'll take me about six years. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march.
You'll have to join us. Stay home out of spite. I guess I have to travel via horse. rather snowy up these ways, isn't it? I mean, understandably has to be. It will be a good fight. I have faith in it. Part of its plan had better be sound. Gain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulfr, and would make things right by following you this day. Well, this is true. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my arm. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Halfton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Yuvina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. Yeah, because that works. Negotiate with the Pict army. I can't call my mount about now. Can I pull the hood up? Could do with it. A nice shot, actually. Yeah. Is 
Yeah, the saturation high on that one actually works really nice. There we go. Yeah, why not? What time are we on? 4 p.m. Oh, wow. My stomach has given me the old rumble, which means I need to have some substantial scrans soon. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out, but they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god, Hedon, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? Oh no. The kingdom has spoken! Then it's dirty there. I need to reach the inner compound. I'm gonna leave the fighting out there to the to the cool gamers. I'm gonna be a real gamer in here. Extend the ladders! Careful! They mean to burn us! What do I need to do? Apparently nobody can climb something that's shaped exactly like a ladder behind the ladders. But that might have actually worked out in my favour there. Reach the gates. Slicing everyone up. I found a pot. This pot is mine. Whee! That was really shit. I must find another pot. Hang on, actually. It doesn't turn that far, shit. Out of options now. Incoming oil! I don't have any more pots to destroy. That one didn't reach far enough. I'm not happy about it, and there's more here. It's fine, don't worry about it.
Look at that, it's no longer really a functioning crossbow thing. Shoot the links to lower the drawbridge. Oh, yeah, I can do that. But now where I was off, I was off to I was off to see the see some aliens or something. Hang on, I could just navigate around that. Eyes open for the coward King Rishi. I'm just killing everybody. But it appears as if this place is ours. Our assault on Magnus Fortress is complete. The victory! Marisia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Oh yeah, it's going to kick off now, isn't it? I'm concentrating far too much. It's a bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, it would have been fun if I'd thrown him off and watched him fall to his death.
<laughs> oh, let's try again, shall we? Look at that. Phrixia, there! He's fleeing to the north. Well, let's give chase to the boy. Annoying that it doesn't seem to be marked as an enemy now. Oh, uh, now there we go. Leave me be, you devil! You meet the spirits this day, traitor. I'm outrunning you. Nearly there. I've run out of stamina. <laughs> Shit. No, I can't even sprint after him. There we go. Had the right idea, but the right execution. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Blur this out a bit, make it look, you know, a little bit. I don't know what the word is. And just cold in that, I guess. There we go. That looks rather cold. Of oh, blood and bombs. Right, this wants us to go to. Oh, we're right on the edge. Wow. Is that where. Uh... Where Magnus Fortress is, yeah, okay, so I guess we're going to Jorvik now. I like, I like just messing with photo mode and getting good shots, or trying to at the very least. Hmm. I think this is a bit more like it. I have some drama in there. Just that. 
Now let's go. Oh, I got two skill points. We should do that while we're sinking in this river, or while swimming, actually. Floating about, running critical chance, and uh, that. We'll get, we'll get cracking on that one. I don't move reminded me of Scorpion to get over here, maybe. Ah. Well, I did launch him towards me. I didn't expect it to, ha to happen that effectively. It doesn't usually. But in that in that isolated incident, it really did. Just lob me towards the man. Hello fishy, hello there sir. Hello. Stab you while we're here. Did I just stab him twice? Once him and then once the air next to him. So this that is half done about. Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside the Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Come on! Come on! Come on! I struggled to be surprised. I was caught off guard. Well, I should not have been. The fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. It's a bit of a blizzard out here. Moira, how are things in Wike? I get by. There will always be those who dislike me. But how I handle their ire is up to me. So yes, things are mostly well. There he is. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... Oh, no. All these years you gifted me poison. <laughs> you gifted me madness. Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Okay. Seize your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. 
He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Stand down or fight me, Faravid. Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old man. He's got a weakness in his face. Look at him, people. Is this how a leader should behave? Have to come to your senses. The entire building should catch fire now, shouldn't it? Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! You think that'll be everyone's weakness? To be fair, you're not wrong. Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my yarn. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. No, I was just gonna. Yeah. Cave is facing. Why? Because he could. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, and the symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Great, to Ranvi. We don't have any skills or anything, but whatever. Let's tell her the right, we get it. We'll go tell her the good news about all that's transpired up here and that we've got allies in that down at down at Ranvi Town. Let's go. While we fast travel back, I'm gonna nip to the loo actually, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I doubt we'll be attacked while we're in the Ravenstorp settlement, so it doesn't matter if it's not paused. But whatever. See you in a minute. I won't be long at all. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news.
I'm back. Let's tell Ranvi what's what, die dog. Oh, I, don't, I'm actually, I can actually kill the dog. Where is the Wolfka? I need your eyes. Why can I not use the Wolfka ever? Use other abilities randomly, but not the Wolfka. At Yorkshire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good, very good. Hmm. What's this quest? Meet Halfton at his royal hall. Okay, we'll do that. Fast travel's unavailable, apparently. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Oh, God. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me. For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. Why did he the wolf disappear then? And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kissed. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. Now we can go up to, uh, what's it called? The place I was going to go to. Yeah, Jorvik ship. Well, then there's Jorvik. Let's go. I'm scranning, so if you hear me scranning, I apologize. Old half done. Well, so why haven't you got any gear in your Vic? I don't know, I've just sort of been caught up in the everything else. I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Hello. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Bayonton. Bayonton, his him. dog. Thank you, Moira. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. I guess I'm gonna go find and speak to half them. Where's my fucking horse? I 
have absolutely nothing nearby to it, so we have to go the manual way. Die. Always kill one to make an example. Create tension. No. earlier and there they are going pies and that talking about pies Tolf deer is just going to appear ra randomly. Tolf deer from Skyrim. That would be amusing, wouldn't it? Right, gents, what are you doing out here? Right. We're making a big, big trek. It's up there, I wonder. Hmm, I don't care. Have a look, Sunan. Oh, here's Pichiringa. Half done. There he is. Huh? No glory, no hope. Nothing but stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go sit. My brother Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother, and never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. Upper knew. Did he not... Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now, get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer. And then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. Find the man's hammer. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe there's a way of expressing Hafdan's uh, mental decline without sending us on a fetch quest for his hammer. Maybe one day, eh? Alright, gents, I have landed on the 
What do you see? So let's go find Bayonton, the dog. There's Bayonton, guarding the hammer. Stroke needs his hammer. He's waiting at Scarborough. Oh, there's a viewpoint at Scarborough. Yeah. I love how the dog knows where to go. Somehow. No, it looks like mud. That dog looks more like an inbred mountain goat or sheep. Just looked a bit like a rock wild. That's what it actually looked like. Looks like an ordinary dog. And we hit 200 likes, gamers. That's really cool. The lighthouse. After the wakes. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Halfton. Remember that next time. Father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are. Still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Phaeton, <laughs> my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives. But he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a 
last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Light the light the brazier and okay. Let's go. This is some hefty music playing. I'm not sure why it's playing, but it is. Peak. I guess we did bits here. What's that? Thank you, friend. You are always welcome at my hall. Kill the dog. Oh. Thought I could break Hafton's heart, but no. <laughs> there is time enough to do that later. In real life, Ragnar Lothbrok never faked his death to get into Paris. Ragnar was powerful enough to get there the first time. There is no real evidence he ever existed. That is a... there is a bit of a debate about that one, isn't there? Here. Crushed to death. An unlucky way to die. Doubt he felt much. Mm. A horrible demise for a, for a lovely sir. I think I killed the guys up there too soon. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. There's something else to do. Oh, I've got some skill points. That's cool. This guy is one of the brigands that I threw down here. Back to the old ends.
Oh, I had to bring something to his wife in that town, did I? Oh, well, she can wait. The soundtrack is being a bit weird. Have a feast, shall we? Feast time. Mmm, scran. There's a morale boost. For all the good it'll do. <laughs> Child has stolen alcohol. This game blew reached the Ivar, Ivar part. I, yeah, we're past the Ivar part. Good day, my love. I want to see the Alliance map. I've done all these areas. We've basically done everywhere now, besides from, well, for now, Winchester. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I will make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. No, I don't doubt that's cool. But first things first. We've got to finish our fight with the fucking wolf. Become a, become a, a gamer of games. See if you get wolf kissed. Give the wolf a fat kiss. It is what must be done. A journey into the lands of the gamer. We are back in these horrible ends, right. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with these ends, they're just so... ...flavourless. I respect Cassandra because she chose to chill in a freaking cave while the world is dying. Oh god. Definitely had some some nerve. Just went chill. I'll chill in this cave for two thousand years. Isn't it weird that during the events of Valhalla, right now in the world somewhere at this point in the game, on the in Abel's story, in Abel's life, sorry, fucking Cassandra's just in a cave, 
Ah, this is not good. I thought the haystack was there, but it was there. For some reason, I'm finding these haystacks hard to see. Thought she roamed the world. Now nah, she's probably just chilling in that cave somewhere. I don't believe she. I, I don't believe she. Um. She, she did any traveling because she was a. Uh, she didn't have a personality. Where would she go? She wasn't interested in anything. Must be boring to chill for so long. I don't know. Best not to draw attention here. Must have bought that suit on Amazon. Who? Oh, the the Cassandra suit. Yep, that was definitely an Amazon purchase. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's calm, right? Why can't there just be a somewhere we can fast travel to on that fucking island there? Save me some time. Is it possible to summon the ship in Asgard? I don't know, I don't think so. It's on the, the wheel thing, so maybe. I can randomly use the horn, I believe. I get a very strong vibe that 22 arrows are not going to be enough for this fight. I can upgrade the quiver. We'll do that. I'll upgrade it twice. There we go. Now we have more arrows. We have 34 arrows, which is a much cooler number. Harvey, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. 
A beacon. That is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Logi tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! Angry wolf. I wish you well, great wolf. No, he's angry because he's talking. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? What do you gotta say about Cassandra being do they have to be afraid of? I, I old hope not. Friend. Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon. That we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. I smell something sour. Wear the collar! Return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. Well, he's not keeping that arm for very long, is he? It's starting to make sense as well. It burns! Harvey? Nice! Unbind him! Here you die, deceiver. Why is it? Brothers who fight one another, kill one another. You speak in red. The whole world turns red. Red with gold. Something weird is going on here. I don't quite understand what. Oh. I am confused as to why I can't seem to shoot. I'm a little bit confused, yeah. Look at the meager damage I've done, and I don't quite understand what I want to do. Trim the legs. Yeah, because all walls do that. Top, top, top five times wolves turn into that. Don't chew me up, man. Maybe I have to fight him with uh, Max.
Kicking him in the head is something. Look at the amount of damage I've done to him. I'll be here for ages. I've been aiming for the glowing parts at points and it just doesn't feel like it's doing any damage. Uh, hang on, we'll try again. Let's try and go for the glowing parts again. It's a bit hard to hit the glowing parts, to be fair. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't, doesn't do anywhere near enough damage to make this boss fight anywhere near satisfying, but whatever. the dog in the face. Still an absolute damage sponge though, isn't he? That I was thinking I wasn't doing enough damage because under level, no. The last time I tried this, it's the exact same. Albeit he does less damage to me now, which is the only difference. Where do I find more arrows? Go, one more. I'm very confused as to, you know. There's got to be a quicker way than this, because this is just not fun. Oh, there's arrows, that's for sure. That's useful. Don't... Yeah, because wolves do that, apparently. Oh, I can blind him. Oh no, I can. I can bind him. Did it say bind or blind? I think he said bind. I wish I could blind him. Maybe he'll do more damage now. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? Poisoned him. He's now going to go off and enjoy being poisoned. And of course he's burrowing. Because, yeah. I love when wolves do that. I have to wait for him to fully stand up before starting to dish damage to him. Again, let's switch out the bow. At least it's not an Odyssey boss fight where I have to pause the game about 60 times to build more arrows. 
Well, craft more arrows, so let's say in the middle of a fight. Oh, that did damage. But that's because he was moving really fast, I presume. I slid under him! <laughs> the fuck? Oh, he just. He nearly had me dead. Whatever. Find more arrows, really. I'm out already. Fuck. Ah. Oh. They just love it when you charge up your attack and miss. more arrows there. A whole one arrow. And a light arrow. Oh, more! Oh, wow, that's useful. Stop lobbing shit at me, you fucking... Come here, sir. Burrowing Wolf is back at it again. Oh god. Stop burrowing about like a crackhead, please. For the love of God. How did that thing still hit me even though I dodge it? Ah, oh, god damn it, Fenrir. Can I use the Wolfga? The Wolfga! <laughs> Active! My guy, the Wolfga just leaving. The Wolfga helped me. Come back! Oh, what a fucking waste. Jesus. I like how Fenrir just appeared in front of me. Why? Why do I have a feeling Ubisoft Quebec had something to do with the making of this boss fight? I'm kind of low on arrows right now. Of course I'd be trying to attack him. Funny because there's probably someone out there who knows how to one hit this guy. This big wolf. This fucking dog. Outside of the boss fight, the, uh, the, the Fenrir. Oh god. As if. As fucking if. <sighs> Big fight, and then suddenly he's trapped outside it. Oh, here he is, he's back. Imagine if I had to reload the fight then. That would have been absurd.
poison time. Come back so I can poison you. There we go. A little bit more. Then comes the second place, and the army goes to fight the wolves. How do you know these things? This is the tale I tell myself each night in the cold and dark. Before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh. What the fuck are you doing up there? I don't have any arrows now. Where can one find arrows? I swear I haven't made a dent in his health bar in about, I don't know, a month. Well, at least I made a dent in his health bar now. If you told me that I'd be scrapping a giant wolf when I played Assassin's Creed 1. You know what? I would have... I would never believed you. Why have, why have I swapped my weapons over? That's useless. Give chase to oh my god, why is he gonna duck up there? What what the what is the point? Somebody Why is there no music? There is music. I don't know. All I wanna know is I don't mind. I don't mind the fact that if you want to put a fucking giant wolf boss fight in Assassin's Creed, go for it. But what I don't understand now, why he has a health bar that de that depletes at about I don't know one percent per year. It could be. It seems to go down so slow. The damage sponge is what it is. And as far as gameplay is concerned, this um, Asgard section hasn't been much better than this, I'm gonna be honest. The story's alright, but as far as gameplay is concerned, this has just been an Odyssey 2.0, this this Asgard section. I'm not a fan of it at all. I need to kick you in the oh yeah, because your legs aren't exposed yet. For some reason I can't do damage to them. Naturally. Who needs logic when you can inconvenience the player? Ow. Make surprised opening like that. That would have been a great opening. But you know what? He's coming out. He's just coming out from the ground. If you hit him now, you've got a bit. You've got a chance to do some damage, and not sit here for 30 minutes. We have been sat here for the best part of the past, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes? There we go. Well. Great. We love a bug right at the very end. Because of course we do.
And now he looks more like a half-eaten bagel than a wolf. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... Okay, so Tyr is just no Sigurd. Way, Our fates are fixed. Because Sigurd's Fate face, alone. different he hair, missing arm, same voice. It was not for you. Sigurd is a sage of Tyr confirmed. Think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. So that means that you may strike the final blow, son of Loki. I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. So that means that Eivor must be a sage of Odin then. Come, old friend. Since we know that Sigurd is a, so we know that Sigurd is a sage at least. And all these characters seem to represent characters that you meet in the story, but it seems to be irrespective of whether or not you've met them yet. So you can do this before you've met Halfdan, and yet sudden, yeah, and yet he looks exactly like Thor and has. All the characteristics and voice of Thor. <laughs> yeah. These are these are Isu memories, isn't it? Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire oh, rains wow. upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It's done. Time to face our end. So which one is Faravid then? Because Faravid had that thing on his neck that all these other characters have. Beard as Eivor looks awful and so weird. And there we go. That's the that's the entire Asgard segment thing. Harvey, the attack grows poo and poo cock, and I'm not interested. I'm just gonna leave. You know when you're just not interested in a in the um in I, I guess the world area. I don't like that it's just it's like an open world space. I like what I like the story being told. But I don't like being taken out of everything else for prolonged periods of time when you could give it like a concise and cryptic and it would feel like, you know, there's a mystery to it. Whereas you can almost cross-section that entire thing and figure out what it's trying to tell you. And it tells you pretty obviously with the, char with the, um, with the character models and the, um, the actors. And so you figure out that that Eivor, you have awakened. is gaming, I With guess. more to share, I hope. I return to Asgard. Travid isn't the and same gender as a Zisu counterpart. Oh god. Hang on. What this Oh god, okay. I'm trying to figure out who Faravid is then. Now I'm mighty curious as to uh, as as to who Farav Faravid was. I bound the great wolf. I bound the wolf Thinrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables 
Yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? That was a... a betrayal. Eivor betrayed, I betrayed my Tyr. friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? So Ragnarok begin. I witnessed the final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched Eight. to our doom. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll back in the, the stream and see who the prophecy. see if Faravid was around How those eight. Was there more? How long was I in that fight for? Uh, that is all. I can make sense of no more. I'm gonna find this I now. See. I'm mighty curious. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Or I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. Okay. Wow. Well, I think if... So, that, that, those entire Asgard segments have to be... Um, I guess Eivor's um, interpretation of what happened to his... Well, I, I presume what is his Isu ancestor, which I'd imagine is Odin, then, somehow. That's the only way that that would ever make any fucking sense. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I guess I guess we're a sage of Odin. That's 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 the functioning theory. Oh, sorry. So a sage. So there's a load of sages in this game, but they're not sages of uh, of my guy. Right. How many anomalies have I done? Is there a way we can tell? I've got 69 people on here. Lovely. Tutorials, no. So like a checklist somewhere where we can have a look, see how many we've done. I don't even know where the, these are, to be honest. I know that there's one in here, but we've done it. Surely. Surely we've done that one. Surely we've done the one up here, and I think we've done a couple of others. Do the anomalies. Let's have a look. Let's find the anomaly location, shall we? I know, I know that there's one down on the Isle of Wight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look, find the in all the animus anomaly locations. Oh god, oh god, what is this site? This is so weird. Okay, right, no, sorry, the um thing. Right, first things first. To Norway, I guess, because one's in Norway. We'll go do that one first. Return to the Norway ends. We'll find Animus Anomaly 1. Oh, it only spawns later. Okay, no, I can't do this one yet, can I? I presume I can't, because the game doesn't seem to think that I can. Maybe we'll find out. It's on this island somewhere. I don't know if I want to traverse that yet, because I know that... Tell you what, we'll do that... We'll, I mean, we... Actually, you know what? It says it only spawns much later on there, so I presume I presume I can't do this one yet. Because we're quite close. Why is it dead? 
What's dead? Shall I just... Welcome to Norway. I live there. Cool. Do it. No combat required. I mean... I know that the anomaly requires no bloody combat and that, but I mean... It's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Will I be able to access will I be able to access this anomaly yet is what I want to know. Either way we can get that viewpoint and then we'll know for sure. Let's go. Let the sail out. Follow this to the marker, we can talk now. How many anomalies are there? Let's have a scan. Ah, only ten. I think we've done I think we've done maybe four or five of them. Minus 11 Celsius, Jesus. That doesn't sound fun. Everyone wants to talk to me. What is this about? Got lots of notifications. Is this island correct here? This one coming up on? It is. That's the island. That's the isle on which there's supposedly the anomaly, but I don't think we'll be able to get it yet. Regardless, we'll we'll be able to um we'll be able to bloody do the thing. The viewpoint is what I want to do here, really. I feel like if there was an anomaly here it might have marked it by now. It shouldn't do. Maybe 500 meters is when it'll know. It's northwest of the viewpoint. Right. Let's just land on the coast and be cool. Alright, oh, it's available. Haha. <laughs> cool. We'll do it, I guess. I presume that's what I think it is. I uh, know it's not because that would be it's on the other side of the viewpoint. It's on the other north of the viewpoint, I'm sure. It's either here or there. It'll be one of the two. All I know is I get the viewpoint, I might be able to see if it's available or not. Don't even know if that's how it works. I haven't been paying much attention. What's going on with that rock texture? Hashtag like a schmiking. <laughs> what is this then? Ah, you that can fuck off. I'm sure it's cool and relaxing, but it'll just take away from 
time. Right. We have an awesome Discord community. The link is in the description. Yeah, if you want to check it out, go there. There's some cool gamers over there. It's a good time. Norway be like big rocks and much water. We get it, man. You're from Norway. <laughs> We really do. I guess. I guess I comprehend this. I've snuck off into the Norway ends just to get this viewpoint. I would seem for now. Are you worried about the next AC guy? In? That soundtrack is fantastic. Does this have any value besides from unfogging map parts? There we go. That's the one. There we go. That's got to be the boy. A lot of, it's a lot, there's a lot of mountains around these ends. Is real Norway a lot of mountains? I don't know. I've never been to Norway. The soundtrack is incredible. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to reviewing this. Um, this game. And I, I do look forward to it. I have a lot of positives to share. And I have a few critiques. A lot of them are founded in that Asgard section. Because it's just... I don't know. It just doesn't feel up to the rest of it. The narrative is. The narrative has a purpose and it will make sense in it in itself. I know that much. But uh, I don't... I, I guess I just don't get... The... The need for the big segments where you're out you're in there for like six hours in total maybe um asgard and uh jotunheim i don't i don't get that right let's do this animus anomaly time tis i layla hassan ah <laughs> oh, shit this looks like total your signal's fucking flickering pain. another anomaly yeah are you losing touch? Let's get let's get a screenshot of the anomaly. There we go. Will you play Cyberpunk once it releases? Of course. Yeah, unfortunately, for a few minutes at a time. Damn. Try to stay with me if you can. I need you to hear these. I'm gonna be a rapid boy. that <laughs> in a bit <laughs> why did you jump straight into it for fuck's sake, Layla. Why are you jumping straight into it? There's a next to it. Ah, oh, fuck off. You try to be efficient and the game fucks you. Now will this obstruct? It will not. Hmm. Ah, fuck.
make sure this doesn't obstruct at all. Because now I need to scooch on by. And aim this laser at this. Come scooch on by, sir. These puzzles sometimes take your entire life. They can be somewhat painful. We can't be that far. Yeah, we're pretty far. That thing comes at you fast. This is gonna take a bit this is gonna take a bit of a trick, isn't it? Let them scooch past. Total pain, I'll be honest. I love figuring out a puzzle as much as the next man, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this pain, this is fun. I'll jump over. <laughs> right. Got it. Here we are. Easy ones. We've done it. It only took us. It only took us six years. No, it took us less than that boss fight did. The navigational puzzle takes you l less time than a boss fight. You know, there's something wrong with the boss fight. <sighs> Prolonged fights are a bit of a, a bit of a struggle, I think. Right. Okay. Let's have a look. We've done Lady Chester. We think we've done East Anglia. Uh, let's. We're headed back to England to do some bits. Let's hope that there are no more piss takey ones, but I'm very doubtful. I don't really like Layla, but her animus is cool. I reckon Red is a virus in her animus. That's fucking with her. It's gonna be really funny. No, I don't know, man. 
I mean, it makes sense to me. It probably won't make sense to anybody else. It probably has no logical... No logic. It just doesn't strike me as something that should be, you know, well, happening, really. Have I, I have pledged to Winchester, haven't I? So I can go do that when I need to. I can't believe I've been going for six fucking hours. But there you go. That's what happens when you're dedicated to playing Assassin's Creed. First video suggestion is why a Viking Assassin's Creed game would work. Yeah, and it has worked, to be fair. Can the horse speed up, please? Seeing the Eastern Cities and AC Odyssey made it the entire game worth it to me. See, I'm of the complete opposite mind. That's what made them worth shit. But that's, that's how it goes. I always like the mystery of not quite knowing what it was like, you know. I think they should always have that, but... I uh, know, it feels kinda like that mystery was more or less thermited. Yeah, what's favourite Assassin's Creed game? I like uh, either 2 or Brotherhood the best, probably. Ah, here we are. Making progress. Now this one better not be painful, otherwise I'm going to punch somebody in the mouth. There are a couple that just take time. Ah, here we go. This one looks rather straightforward. Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this. Oh no, this is 4. Two voices, so I've only done... Definitely Isu. So I've one of them only is done thing. 4. From the staff? Yeah. That, well, that, including this but one. I don't think these are contemporary. So the East Anglia one's probably candy. still accidental. I'll keep trying. Open to do. Or maybe the one in. <laughs> Grab hold of the Layla. Please. Right. Okay. Controlled descent. No. Just jump past it. Quite, I quite appreciate uh, that boy being there. Now, please. Oh, I have to bring it back. Please bring it back then, Layla. There we go. That's much better. There's a little bit of water on that one. That's pretty cool. Unstable structures. Some structures might be stabilized by a light beam before they can be peak. I guess. Oh, bugger. How do I? How do I arrange that? Ah, hello. I have an idea. Clever. Now I now I push this forward, right? Or do I? Forward, Layla. Forward. Hmm. No. This one wants to be here. But it won't hit that. That makes nil sense. But okay. Maybe on this end it'll work. Hey, why didn't I think of that? Clever mi- ah. Hmm. Yeah. No, of course. Of course that wouldn't work. Why, what the fuck was I thinking? <sighs> right. Maybe this one- maybe this one changes the focus differently. I'm gonna- Ah-ha-ha! Clever. I see. 
Right, let's do this. I like a good puzzle that pisses me off and then I then I realize what it is that I'm doing wrong. More or less this is what I need to do. Just shift this along a little bit. I think I've missed completely somehow. Now if I shift this here. That should do it. There we go. We've done it. Now. Head over. Refocus that laser on this step. Move from there. Then I'd recenter myself essentially. Forwards, Layla. It's a little bit irritating when you try to get Layla to move those and Layla just decides that she's not going to do it. And there are moments. Where she just stands there and does nothing. Even though you, you you feel the input you're putting in, you're like, oh, come on. The mad one is away wandering in lands afar. He searches for a way to resurrect his son, asking every leaf and stone for answers. We can use this to our advantage to steal the seven serum and the catalyst. It should be ours for all the suffering he has wrought. Our minds are attuned, Lav. Sympathetic strings. When the time is right, just right, we go. Ah, oh, yeah. I feel like I may have evaded a problem there. I jumped over that. <laughs> Feels like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Izu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? Got it. I like the mystery of it. It's a nice mystery. Done. That's number four. Have I done... Now I need to figure out where I haven't done one. I'll do the Jorvik one last because that one is so annoying. Uh, East Anglia, have I done East Anglias? Well, I might have. To, if I head in that way, I'll. I don't think I have, somehow. Uh, oh, I thought that, you know what, clearly clearly I had, but because it's the one that I know exactly where it is sort of thing. Well, well, I know it's there because I've done it before. I know it's a straightforward one. It's whatever, Right, let's get a move on, shall we, gamers? I don't need a shit boat. This is your first playthrough? No, but there are some things I haven't done, like all of the Animus Anomalies, for example. This is my second playthrough, otherwise. I'm also doing a long sitting now to sort of prepare myself, if you will, for... Um, the charity event in a week, week or so's time. So I'm just giving myself that uh, that long that that long form stream, so that I'm used to doing that. Because I prefer my shorter streams, but you know how it is. Edmund's Hope, the place of the Sirs. Oh God, what's going on in here? 
Ah, uh, hello, miss. Forgive not these men their trespasses. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Goodbye. Stand down, Saxon. I love how she just says goodbye. Oh god, she shanked me. Right, into the wall with you. I'm out of arrows, because apparently I used up arrows in the uh, in the dream world. Tell me again, what did your god say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when the character decides to go out with a Skyrim death. I don't even know how to describe it, it's funny. There we go. I haven't done the uh, East Anglia one. That makes things a little bit easier. Because now we can go and do it. I think this one's one of the easy ones that you just go to and just climb from A to B. Please skip Odyssey for your own health and well-being. Well, that would be my perspective too. But at the end of the day, if you want to play Odyssey, play Odyssey, man. It doesn't make a difference to me. And also, I'd rather have people forge their own opinions as opposed to necessarily just accept mine. Or anyone else's. It can be very annoying. It can be very annoying when people do that. Not for, not for me if, you know, the, the opinion lines up and, you know, we agree we about get. things. Hey, it's Sean here. Um, but is trying for to cook up a trace of when some it's kind, someone else find out where this raw data is coming from. regurgitating it's the opinion of someone else today, entirely because be. they take that word as law. Like and then they go into your stream and be like, this game is shit because so-and-so said so. At the start of this stream series, it happened quite a little bit, really. And I found it so weird um, that people did that. Just have your own opinion. Or let me have mine. Yeah, this is just a climby boy. With, with a couple of lasers at the top. back up. I'm doing a top five climbing spots in Assassin's Creed. Let ah, fuck. <laughs> I accidentally jumped off instead of going where I wanted to go. Because of course I did. Why wouldn't I have done that?
Aim it at the mentally unstable platform. Not a bad shout. In the history of bad shouts, anywho. Ah. Well. There's gotta be another laser, right? Oh, I see. an obstruction somewhere. Give myself a measure of time with it. This is the way to go. Any progress? Nothing yet. Whoever put these here made a surgical incision into our server. They dumped this data and backed out before anyone noticed. Oddly enough, that's how Rebecca describes our wedding night, which I find rude. Wait, hey, so get off the mic. Sean and Rebecca are married. What? I have it. Sending it over. That one's news to me. I mean, good for them, but also, what the fuck? Where's this one? There. No. There. There we go. No, oh God, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to fast travel. Shit. Yeah, no, I'm learning stuff here. If that suddenly was a sage, I'd, I'd be sad. I'd be fucking sad. It'd make no fucking sense. Cool. Pause. Onward. crashed for a second there. I was about to cry. About to cry big tears. I was about to cry big tears and be sad. Well, here we are. No, 
Phoenix Anomaly. Let's explore it. Number six. Is that right? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a big one. Layla, how are you holding up? Not bad, actually. These anomalies feel second nature now. So Any ghosting so effects? Double identity syndrome? Occipital shock signs? Hey, hey, you trying to freak me out? My God, just let me work. I need this behind me realistically, don't I? Yeah. I have to let it chase me. Right, let's go. Here we go, that's a better idea. <coughs> Something really relaxing about this without the music for some reason. Without the music it's just become really relaxing. Of course, now the music's gonna kick in and it's not gonna be as relaxing anymore. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> that was close. Oh shit. I went the wrong way. Ah, oh, bugger. Did I? Did I go the wrong way? I did indeed. Go I believe to be the wrong way. Now I can embark on my quest in the right direction. After maybe a few years of failing. No, there's no there's no avoiding it. Let's go. Sorry, I smelled something funny then. Still think I'm smelling something funny to be honest. Someone, someone's engine is not in a good state outside, I think. There's only a logical explanation for it. That was probably more straightforward than I made it look. Ah, shit. Yep. Why didn't I just, you know... Use my head. I'm aware. Oh god, that's right. Hang on. No. I buggered that. I know what I need to do. If 
buying that up there. Doesn't feel right somehow. No one. Oh god, no. What the fuck? M mightily confused. Ah, uh, no, I see. That's right. That's that's what I that's what I meant to do. Evil Santa Claus, much. That worked, didn't it? God, that's horrible. All right, closing in on another one. Sorry to freak you out earlier. It's just the animus can be dangerous. Prolonged exposure is hard on a brain. I know. I just. I want to finish this. Yes, definitely. Jump out whenever you feel worn down. Hello. I got the data. Here it comes. Well, there we go. We've uh, we've done another animus anomaly. Number six of the many. Where's the next one going to take us? I wonder. Let's have a look. Kent. Ken doesn't have any. That's Facebook in the background, so it turns out that's open. I didn't realise. Uh, no, Sussex. Sussex is where the next one is, right? Let's find out. Whereabouts in Sussex is it? It's here. That's that's the Sussex boy. Now I guess we go here and we, we, head, we head on down and see just how painful this one is, right? Sussex. I can't imagine this one being much fun somehow. <laughs> oh god. They really challenge your brain, don't they?
Horse. Come on, horse. Horse. What do you call a snail with no shell? I have no clue. I don't want to know either. Probably a slug. <sighs> ah, there is an anomaly down here. I think we're in good. Here we are. Ready to do ready to go again, I guess. Oh my god. It's a big slide, we let's go. Anomaly well, number seven, if I'm counting right. You are. Just a few more to go. Ten in total. Ten. Okay, I can do ten. Does the Animus give achievements for stuff like this? Sorry, does it what? Forget it. <laughs> A gaming joke. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I presume there's something we can pop this on. Is that it? Is that lined up? I presume that's the boy. Ah, there you go. This is pain. There's just not enough time to get through, is there? You can't. Oh, I have an idea. Ignore. Oh, okay, no, that's a terrible idea. Oh, nearly. Oh, shit. There you go. Done. couldn't get through in time. What? Why can't I get through in time? There we go. It's much more like it. Ah.
I have to judge where they are and then get close without doing that. Or I just go through at stupid speeds and don't think too much about it. That works too. Because of course it does. I like the use of the slides. The slides are cool. Assassin's Creed, the slides. A bit of slides. Wait, I'm, I'm... Ah! I did it! You've stolen that one from me, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, more like a clown's creed. I could... I don't understand why... The game doesn't seem to... The game seems to be so anti... Ah, what? Anti do anything but... <laughs> What we think should work. There we go. There we go. It's only in these does it do that, by the way. It's otherwise very, very good at letting you have a bit more. That's what we want. What do you mean? Ah, oh, maybe I can... If I move this, will it move? It'll move up and down. Ah, oh, shit, now I'm stuck down here, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not stuck down here. That's clever. I wonder if we go lower. That'll be better. That slide was cool. Maybe there's one more where, where there's a use for that slide. You're getting good at these, Layla. I'm an engineer. These puzzles are child's play. Still, it's physical and mental. That can't be easy. That's true. I never had to swim through any fluid dynamics equations to solve them. I got the data. Technically Here not doing anything. <laughs> wow. Number seven. Cool. To Snottinghamshire. Well, it's Nottingham sure again. It's there, isn't it? Is that the one I want? We'll find out soon. I'm doing an absolute madness. I'm just finding them all with the help with the assistance of Google. That way, we're not running around for ages. Redder is the hacker. Oh god, imagine. Turns out the end it's been Redder this entire time. Come on, boss, let's get a new shot. If it turns out Redder is the, the sad boy, everyone will be sad. This is not the one. I'm very confused. I was sure this was the place.
Oh no, hang on, it's down here. Because of course it is. I think I may have done this one. I don't know. I shouldn't have. Is Red the father of understanding? Shit, you've discovered him. And well, there's something here. It would have marked it. There's just a cross in its stead. We'll go and see. You know, I reckon we might have done this one somehow. <laughs> but no, there should be three that I haven't done. Certainly have done this one, then by the of it. Right. To the Jorvik one, I guess. There's one just below Jorvik, just near it. Require no story or creativity. All we really need is the world be filled with microtransactions. Oh, it's north of Jorvik. There it is. Because of... Because of course. Bert's view. Where's the haystack? Wireless control, the battery level is low. Oh no, what a disaster. I guess I'll just plug in the other one. I'll, I'll plug this one in and I'll fire up the other one. Easy enough. Yep, it's me. And I guess this will do the job now. Oh, this is a this controller is I'm on fire again. This controller is nice and cool. It's kind of comfortable actually. Now this one is total fucking pain, if I recall. What are your thoughts on the parkour? It's just plain and simple, not that great. 
The parkour in this game is a means to an end, rather than a gameplay, and rather than, rather than fun unto itself. I think is the. I think is the issue. Memory stream fragments I'm finding. Ugh. Are they adding up to anything? Nothing coherent so far. Just random clips. Hard to say how they all fit together. Damn it. I think there's more here than meets the eye. Just keep going. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, why didn't I just... Come to think of it, why didn't I just... I need this stable, really. Oh, I see. No, I do. I've, I've got this right. Oh, fuck off. Layla, please move in the direction that I'm putting you in. Layla, please. Right. It's right in front of you! Oh, how difficult was that? Did that have to be so fucking hard? There's one thing done. That's gotta be it for here. Now I sort of just gotta fall. Oh, come on. 
Oh, I see the way down. If only we could just climb up here, that would have been at least not complicated, right? I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to use this for extra stability. Hereabouts. If I aim at central, this should be okay. There we go. Shit. Shit, the, the laser up top is... Oh god, I fucked it. Ah, have to go back now. Bugger. Right, let's go. Well, hang on, that is working. Oh, it works in bursts. Oh, okay, I haven't fucked it at all. How am I supposed to... Oh, I'm, I'm here, it's fine. Whatever. Oh no, I don't, I, don't, I don't need to go up there yet. Shit. Come on, Layla, move. Sometimes Layla just gets stuck. And doesn't respond at all. Usually when you're on one of the... Usually when you're trying to do something quickly. Layla has a... Oh god, this is pain. Right. I need to rearrange this somehow. much more like it, right? We'll find out soon, won't we? Yeah! That wasn't so difficult this time around. Last time I did this, I was here for ages trying to figure this one out. This time it was pretty simple, and for that I am thankful. I presume it won't matter which way, which way around this one is. At least you'd hope not, wouldn't you? You never be too sure. Oh shit. Laser. Laser, please. Why is that why has that suddenly been out? Oh there we go, that's why. Oh come on. Give it give it to me somewhere where I can climb, okay? Actually, I need to aim it further down, don't I? Fuck's sake. It actually doesn't... Maybe maybe this thing getting out of the way will, will have it land in a, in a better spot for it. No, not the edge there. Oh god. Please do me a... Oh, fuck off. I do have to go all the way back. Maybe aiming that at it's a good idea. No? 
Because I need to move it. I need to actually get moved. Ah oh, shit, I haven't done that haven't we? Have I? Actually? Where's the other laser go then? Oh, that's where that laser's supposed to go, isn't it? Climb, climb, climb. There we go. This needs to be aimed much lower, but I need it to be I need it to be organized properly first. And now I need to shift the other one around. Shit. Oh, why did I jump up? Where's the thing? There it is. Which is uh, of the lot, to be fair, this is the shittest one. This is the one that I hold the most hatred for, of the lot. How am I supposed to... Do I have the time to get through that? There we do, I do. It's fine. I've done it before, so obviously I do. Go. It shouldn't be too difficult to climb back up there, to be fair. No, this one shouldn't be too hard, it's just tedious. Because now. Come on, move, Layla! Oh, it's the same spot! Let's, uh, let's try and get this one right this time. Right, now we can go back down, right? Maybe my frustrations will be worth it. God knows. Please climb. Climb faster. Climb in rapid paces. Ayla. I see. There we go. I love how Layla likes to drop sometimes randomly, and the only time you don't want to, you actually want her to drop, she takes Almost a minute there. to figure out what you're actually Eight trying to get her to do. Two to go. Good. And here comes another kaleidoscopic gemstone of gibberish. Not bad, Sean. Working on your kennings? As a matter of fact, I am, yes. Thank you for noticing, Data Wrangler. <sighs> Done it. There we go. I got the data. Here it comes. exactly as she herself in the Animus. I guess the same way that Desmond is for a brief period. 
um, Brotherhood, for example. Lincolnshire. Have I done the Lincolnshire anomaly? Maybe, maybe I haven't. Where's Lincolnshire again? Here. Well, where's that anomaly? It's right. It's right here on the edge, isn't it? I know I haven't done this one actually because. Well, actually, I don't know if I have, because. I probably haven't because. Hang on. Can. No, maybe I have. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to find the exact spot where it is on here. That's the difficult bit. It's a different colour on here. That's weird. Uh, but that's... This is the place. Is it? Yeah, this is the place. Okay. That's 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 an anomaly. Right, let's go. We're close now. We're not far off at all. I like how it looks really close on the map, but it's actually 500 meters away. really weird when they say for my brother die and I have no I haven't got the foggiest clue who they're on about I know what the last one is as well that's no worries to find now that we've got this one here we are ready to ready to snazzle tired that's about all why you expecting something worse expecting the unexpected it's hard to fully trust these things I'll be careful Probably more likely what I want to do, yes. Let me think this through for a minute. So I fired the laser from there, through there, to there, to these. I need this to get up here, and I need this to get back up in the... Um, in order to... These obstruct, they do obstruct to the point where it becomes useless. Okay. Well. Let me just climb across and erect and mine this one. Then I can erect then I can come back across, sort that out in the direction it needs to go, arrange the arrange the this laser back and then go back and sort that. Move! There we go. I aim this one at the sky, then I head back across.
aim this one back where it needs to be in the sky up there. Then I go and I sort the other one out. Damn, that wasn't so difficult. The staff of Hermes. Number nine in sight, and the voices are still with me. That's strange. The voices. Are you sure they aren't coming from somewhere else, like from you? God no. How would that be possible? Sorry, just asking. The voices. I got it. The voices. I think we've already figured out the, uh, the, what's going on. This will, this will reveal it all, really. It's right on the edge of this here, so let's get ourselves to here. We'll go down, we'll do that, and then we'll be good. One more, everyone. <laughs> I need a boat, so let's go sort this out. <laughs> Is this last one about to be a major spoiler? More than likely. So, um, what what skill level are we up to? It's 289. Hmm. We're more than likely about to tre tread on Treading the um, in the ends of relatively risky spoiler territory. I might have to hop out, gents. Clever idea. Don't want any spoilers. I would recommend hopping out really uh, for this bit. But then again, it's not like I haven't been streaming spoilers for the past. Seven hours. I have been streaming, you know, spoiler content, I guess. Well, oh, there's my boys. Is there anywhere to jump into down there? That's not a haystack. Don't even try to think it's a haystack. Let's go. Down the cliff really slowly. forget to leave a like on the stream share with your friends hit subscribe if you're new that would be terrific business me and the water boys are going to get moving take command please We don't have to stick faithfully to the coast. Just go to the marker.
rush now. Connor Jones took a waltz. It might be indifferent Connor Jones to the one that we know. Uh. <laughs> no, that will make me laugh. <laughs> It would be funny if he hadn't subscribed for years. Yeah, no, he just he's finally he's finally given in and gone, you know what? It's time. Here we are. Location discovered, needles. Isle of Wight. There's no viewpoint on the Isle of Wight, which I find to be interesting when you could class any of it as a viewpoint since it's all high up. But oh well. We're here in the lands, ready to... well... I guess conclude the uh, animus anomalies things and finally see the full video thing. It is me! I suppose I've got to traverse all the way to the fucking end. Oh god, this looks like this looks Last horrible. anomaly. This is it. I'm keeping a close watch on you. Don't do anything weird or sudden, okay? I won't. And pull me out if you see anything strange. Anything at all. Gotcha. Well, that's valuable time, isn't it? There we are, we're fine. Don't worry about it. I wonder what anything strange could be here. Besides from the whole fucking thing. I never understand how that works in this engine, but it just seems to. Why can't you grab hold of the edge, Layla? Why am I off on the side? Another feeling when you fucking land and then he goes, No, you didn't land. What do you mean? You didn't land. No, you fell, is what it says. I think it's very painful when it does that. Shit. I get the vibe this is pointless somehow. Oh, 
I oh, know, I see. I see. Hmm. This is but a mere obstruction. Let's go. I oh, know, I have to stand on the platform, hover over this bit here, and then just fall. Not a good time for it, but at least we know what we're doing now. Come on, Layla. Come on, full. Oh, I see. Here. There we are. Now we'll find this. Yeah, that makes the most sense. I don't think I think if you re remove the light from the platform you won't be able to reach at all. That's the way. <laughs> oh shit, there's another one up there. is getting rather annoying <sighs> rather fucking quickly Let's see if I can get up to that one up there maybe it wants me to I mean I should be able to just fine oh god no I can't shit right what about this side is there something to climb on this side is there something at all to climb here Anything at all? No? Further along. Both these. Now that should do it, right? Until I get up there. We'll see. I mean, ah, oh, fuck. Get over there and read. Ah, fuck. <sighs> right. Okay. This is aimed at the wrong thing. <laughs> That's the thing it needs to be aimed at. That there. These two need to be aimed. Uh, 
as such, right? Now we should be good. And if we're not, I'll be sad. So very sad that I might misplace my big, my big fist and punch someone in the face. Of course, of course it'd be naive to believe that it's over. And I've fallen again. Right, now. To aim this where exactly? Is it gone? The fuck is it gone? There. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I see. I removed that. That moved that. Then this moved up. And now I can move up too. Okay. That makes the most sense. Getting very confused with that for a minute there. How many hours have we got? Eight. Shit me. Well, not eight quite. Seven and a half. Seven and well, seven forty. Might as well be eight. This is in some form of like dangerous ends. I need it to be. Well, I can just pass it. So it's whatever. Oh, that's the right bottom. This is the base. Okay. I was out there! No, don't do that. Right, whatever. There you go, you actually dropped. Took three attempts, but here we are. Where's Bishop? Hopefully dead. I haven't got the patience for fucking Bishop. How far is it going? Oh, once it's gone past here, now I have to make a break, really. It won't take long to get to the top. Let's go. Let's go. Vex, I'm almost at number 10. Anything happening on your end? Nothing. I'm decrypting the last data packet now. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. The fragment's unpacking itself. Gigs of compressed data. I think... Hold on. I think we're in for something bigger than we bargained for. Get ready. Let's have a look, shall we? I got the data. Sending it now. That's the full thing. Ah, it's the Isu version. Alright. There's there's Odin, I presume.
Ah, this is the easy version of events for the, uh, for the Asgard ship. Let it flow. That's how Loki... What? Loki does it as well? Okay. Yep, this makes sense. I will find you, Ned One. On the far side of our doom. Yep, that makes sense. So that's the uh, that's what's that's what Eivor's remembering in his uh, in his or her visions is that basically. Um, so yeah, so that confirms that since he's that means he's Odin, right? And then you got other characters who are other who are other people, and I need to get to Hamptonshire. So we're gonna go from. Well, I mean, might as well go from somewhere else that isn't here. We need to go to Winchester. I'll tell you what, we've been going for seven hours. How did the baby survive? No clue. <laughs> I have no idea how the baby survive. It seems like a bit of a flawed contingency. But whatever. At least we know that Loki did bits. Managed to follow through and do some deeds. So Eivor was remembering being loaded, and that's what the Asgard segments were, and used his own interpretations of the gods to fill in the blanks. Hmm, yeah. So those potions were just unlocking his memories. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know what, I rate that. I reckon I can get along with that. Down here. You have strayed onto cursed ground. Your life is in peril. Who's there? We are the wisps of the swamp. Leave all you have as tribute, or you will never see the sun again. Spirits. We'll see about that. Maybe they're up in a tree.
I can still see the sun. This seems so fucking daft. Right, where am I going, everybody? I mean, I. Weird. They found us, lads. No sudden moves, all right? Here are the mysterious wisps. So you and your fellows like to scare travelers into giving up their valuables. That's right. We're peaceful like that. Wouldn't hurt a fly, me. You tried to rob me. A sorry necessity. <laughs> we three were left homeless after your country folk, um, burned our village to ashes. Now we do what we must to keep body and soul together. Here, you figured out our trick. Can you help us? I help you. Just a few pointers. How can we improve? Be more effective ghosts, so to speak. I'll make you into real ghosts, you thieving scum. We'll see about that. Hoof it, lads! I just killed him. And his mates. Killing one more civilian was on desynchronization. I think we've been desyncing in the animus. Okay. Well, here we are. The ends. Hamptonshire. The lovely ends. And there's Winchester. A cool spot to be. But I've been going for... I'm the best part of eight fucking hours. So, yeah. I reckon I'll save the rest for another time. Because... I need to go get some food in me. Because I'm really, really quite ravenous now. I've had a couple of snacks throughout the stream, but there's been nothing of real substance. So, I need to go and take care of that realistically. Uh, it's a mad stream. It is indeed a mad stream. Eight hours is a long time to be sat here gaming. If they see me, this will get messy. We're here though, so it's fine. So, here we go. This is where I'm going to conclude. Winchester ends. So, don't worry. We'll be back um, probably quite soon with what I'd imagine is close enough to the ending of the game. Uh, I mean, from what I remember, it is pretty close. There's only a few little bits and bobs left. Uh, but to be fair, I've got to hunt some water members, really, realistically. Um, so we're nowhere near in reality. Uh, but, you know, it goes. So, thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. Huge thanks to Humanoid Gaming and Cigarette Chair for your super chat donations. Those are absolutely terrific and awesome. I really appreciate it. And as well, a massive thank you to all the lovely sirs over on the Patreon. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description which you can check out. Head over there, see the stuff on offer and whether or not you think it's worth it in the end of the day. is completely up to you, of course. I 100% understand. But it's there just the same if you so wish to take it. But, you know, it is... Uh, it just exists in it um, and beyond that of course we've got the charity event a week from now check out the video on my channel which I'll link in the chat right now as we as we're as we're going and that is the charity that's the charity event schedule so a week from now we'll be start well a week from yesterday actually we'll be starting you can see what's going on and then we can have a, and then well you know it is we can have a good time as a as, as gamers, I guess. We're really, we're really, um, I reckon we're going to smash it, you know. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all very soon with another video. We'll stream at some point. But until next time, take care, and goodbye.